Hello everybody, I'm ready to get started. So let's chat a bit first. So today we're going to be doing a bit of a bonus stream. I haven't decided how late I'm going to do this specific stream since I did end up having dinner, which was the big reason I didn't want to go late. But I'm also feeling tired. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to put it hands in the air. Whenever I feel I'm done, I'm done. But I definitely don't want to go super late night with the stream. However, I do think since it is Valentine's event on XP week, if there are people looking to cross that threshold, potentially into 80, there's people just looking to help clean up their ults from 80 to like 120, or just people looking to go for that push to 180 in general, uh, this is the day to kind of make your requests. If you're a brand new player, please let me know. Potentially help you with techniques and some hand-me-down items. And uh, yeah, we'll go forward from there. But anyway, since we're on yet another off hour, we're gonna start up with TTF as usual, since I'm only looking for a handful of items, as I mentioned before. I'm listening to the final 10 minutes of the Sonic Riders Zero Gravity soundtrack. Welcome, Hokley. Hope you're doing well. You're in very hard TT up already. But if you have other leveling 80, I'll do a few runs. Yeah, let us know, Cliff. You're you're the target audience for me today, for sure. Other ones, you know, we can consider some days more selfish than others. This one, I just want people to be happy in Ultimate. Or people are trying to get their ults up there, we just help out. I'm gonna do a warm-up TTF. I guess technically, Hulkly, if you want to join me on the warm-up TTF, that's fine. And then we'll we'll do a check to see who needs leveling. But I'll leave it up to your discretion, Hulkleaf. But yeah, we would be able to power level. I think people there. Hulkleaf's looking to jump in. Sure, sure. Take some time, Hulkleaf. I'll, I'll need a, a minute or two anyway. It's normally the warm up game is me just uh, getting used to the controller again. Yeah, I saw Clef, uh, you posted uh, something interesting. I'm really curious if you have, if you play with the add-on for XP per second. You were mentioning before you were doing Anguish 10 resets. I was very curious how much XP per second you were getting. You can name with or without the 50% XP and I could do the math accordingly. I was definitely very curious what you got XP per second wise doing uh, TTF resets. Yeah. Like, do you know on average how long it takes you to clear dragon? Three hundred plus a second. It's pretty solid. And I'm assuming that's with fifty percent XP week. Should have my Excalibur still. Nice, nice. <laughs> we know the universal answer to leveling your cookie quests. <laughs> but it's interesting seeing these, I uh, will call them off meta quests. Usually, we're, we're looking for when you go for high XP, we're looking for. On XP week, at least 220 XP a, X, a second. With the assumption that uh, you're getting rares as you go along. Now, if you're going purely for XP, you know, you can weight it against 
how much are you sacrificing in order to get that extra XP? Very interesting if it hits 300. That XP week, I think it was about 60k XP at one. It really just depends on how long it takes to kill. That's why I'm very curious. Because 3 minutes 30 to 6 minutes is a huge range for a quest that short. We'll watch the dragon die and we'll we'll put this as like a comparison. Yeah, so that hit about 247 XP a second. Oh full time drop, nice. And that's just with two people. But the quest is very short. Like that was sub two minutes. So even if you factor in resetting a quest, it's still insanely fast. I'm definitely very curious why Anguish 10 specifically, like, is, like, to me, you know, I, I would see Anguish 1 being kind of free XP. I would definitely agree if you're doing Dragon Resets and you got a good team. I don't think it would add basically any time to the run at all for Anguish 1. I'm not sure about Anguish 2, it might have to depend on the team. Shop accident. Yeah, because the 400 XP doesn't matter. But ultimately, it comes down to XP per second and time in the run. Yeah. Because, like, for me, 300 XP a second, I'm curious. Why... Maybe difficult... Mm. Oh, not using the right weapon. No oh, invincibility, of course. I got escaped all. I should come back. Unfortunate. That's what I get for looking at chat. I deserve that. Because I'm curious too, because if you're just looking for no items, uh, why not Why not episode 4, um, Beyond the Horizons, Anguish 1? Is there a reason? Or just like party comp? Because uh, I, I know even without Anguish, you, you break 300 on that quest. I'll, bl I'll blame myself on that hope you. <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> I meant to swap into Excalibur and then I killed myself. Because I uh, wasn't looking at HP. I'll wake up. It's the warm-up quest. <clears throat> Goodbye, boxes. Oops. That's not picking up my setup.
I'll take the laser. I'll do that for a whole cleave. <laughs> I'll shoot the turret. I believe that is the end of the soundtrack. So let's move on to the next one. I pop them hoping for PDs every now and then. The PDs, please. Yeah, I think from like a. Actually, I don't wanna. I don't wanna go there. <laughs> Just realized. Oh, wait a minute. Autopilot. Green ID. I don't want that. <clears throat> yeah, I think it was like what was it? New mop up operation three. I think solo. Without having completely optimal gear, I was hitting 290 XP a second, but I'm getting like a ton of rares. Those are more force specific, of course. You can't do that with every character. And I'm sure people that actually have Psycho 1 can make that 300 plus easy. Seriously, stop confusing me. I got excited when I saw a dot appear on my minimap and then I saw what it was. Disappointing. I mean, power material's okay, but uh, not quite your uh, expected rare. Hello, TMG Sean. Hopefully you're doing well. By the way, correct me if I'm wrong, because my name, my memory with names is terrible. Were you still looking for techniques? I believe you were the player last time looking for techs. When I'm done with this run, I can help you with that. Oh. That's what I get for being tired. I hit, uh, I hit heal too early and then I hit the wrong revive button. Damn. That's what I get for uh, being rusty. Uh, still got some escape dolls, we're good. Okay, yeah, if you stop by, we'll be on for at least, we'll say three hours tentatively. So if you happen to come by in that time frame, we'll uh, help you out. That time I that time I menued correctly for my item. Just a shame it didn't matter. <laughs> I'd like all the time in the world to menu that. I could do that for my other heal. Did get to ultimate, so you feel like dragging my conscious body through TTF later, let me know. And we're happy to let people level in general. We are 30 beats from even beat. And that is like the wonderful time of XP. Honestly, I kind of like do an episode four leveling more than I do episode one leveling. Just cause it's like so, it's so brain dead easy if you're a force. And obviously if you're pew pew laser, you don't care at all. So if all you want is raw XP, we can still go for items, of course. I'm not sure what character you just raised. That is not enough damage. Also, it's trying to really hold in a sneeze. It kind of worked. I didn't sneeze, but it made me close my eyes, which is not good. Oh, no. Fake out with the sneeze again. <laughs> I hate that. Don't you hate that, chat? 
Because like I'm like, I'm trying to focus on the game and I'm like, no, <laughs> just doesn't want to come out. Oh, well, maybe next time. Oh, you have a Regia Phil Newman? That is like the perfect ID. <laughs> that is that is like literally the ID that I would want more than any other ID. And you're the perfect class for it too. Do you have like a mag and stuff for that character? I will legit loan you one as we play. I'm just curious. Alright, no more sneezing. I think it's gone. Whatever it is, didn't want to come out. Oh yeah, you got a 150? That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, sometimes this is better, honestly. Like, you obviously don't want, like, uh, some of the other wonky mags. Like, if you look at them, there would be, like, here's the 90 ATP, uh, you know, mag, and it's like, that's not gonna help you when you're leveling. It's perfect when you're done with the game. Okay, it didn't die there. Happy feelings. But oh yeah, that, that character is free. You literally create games all day. I'd probably join them if I'm playing. Since I was literally playing Red ID yesterday, because I want Cannon Rouge. <laughs> like, it gives me everything I want. And if you want Heavenly Abilities and Centurions, it's fine. Just get Brave Man's, other things like that. There's quite a few good rares on Red ID in general. I'm not sure how well armed your other characters are. Alternatively, things like Green ID are still pretty solid since you get your. Potential Heaven Striker chance with a side of Galatine and the boss rush. I think Red ID also gets Heaven Striker if I remember correctly. Which is why we do the uh, the boss end to end there. I couldn't tell you which enemy it is. It's it's a Goron, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but it's there. Oh, missed it by one shot. That is unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I was I was running a little risky there. That's fun. I deserve to get punished for the greed. It was worth it since I had escaped dolls for sure, but I still got punished for the greed. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta get way closer to the center to dodge better. There we go. This should be an easy dodge if I get aimed at like that. Oh, he's already up. Nice. There we go. Hopefully we've tested my reaction time. Uh, hopefully you don't get health drained and die, Hellcleave. I would be mashing that heal right now if I were you. Ooh. Nice kill, though. Red is good for almost any class. Uh, I don't know if I would put it in, like, the top five. Well, maybe top five. I don't think I would put it in the top three. But it, it's solid. I'm living that green ID, white ID life at the moment. All my more situational IDs like blue ID as needed. Oh, short cycled. Unfortunate. It's one of those ones where I like it for, like, early heavenly battles. When I'm playing solo. Uh, you can kill me. I got skate though. See, that time that's an intentional, willful death. That's fine. I'm just gonna heal through the grants. Oh, 
seriously? Uh, well, that's how I'm gonna heal through it. Goodbye. See the boss. No worries, Imperimeter. Take your time. I'm still a big fan of Viridian. Specifically for TTF, for sure. Thank you, Sean, for the lurk. Hopefully see you again soon. And sorry about not giving the items last time due to uh, the connection issues, but we'll try to hook you up when you're back. How do you adjust volume settings from in-game? Want to lower game volume so stream doesn't have to be so loud? Um, well, I would recommend probably do it more in the system settings, to be honest with you, but there are a couple shortcuts. Uh, if you go to the main lobby, I think you can change the volume, but there's also, it's like, BG... Help me out, chat. I forget what it is. I haven't used it in so long. It's in the chat commands. It's like... Hell Cleave will say it in a second. I don't normally touch it. So for me, I literally just open application, put it at 10%. Just because I would need the whole game to go quieter. Technically... Yeah, slash BGM. Thank you. Yeah, you can lower it there. I believe you can do... Uh... As I said before, at the main lobby, I think there's also a volume control. And the SFX is the other one. Thank you, Hopley. Yeah, I both lowered the game and I think I muted the music for the most part. So it's kind of funny because the boss roars and stuff count as background music and I don't really understand why. Yeah, one is still really loud. That's Yeah, I had to turn this application down specifically. It is just too loud by default. It's actually deafening. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I did it in lobby. I don't think I did the shortcut, but technically it exists. So if you need to tweak it, just remember those two commands. Okay. So let's do, what's the forecast? Versus human males, okay. Hmm. Think about who needs to make the game. But if you're in lobby, could you make in block two a game for TTF? We'll join it in just a second. I'm gonna change characters. You are a Force, I think you just mentioned, correct? Red ID? Is that the character you're using? We'll test a little TTF. And then we're gonna test something afterwards. If we get a four man party, I have an idea. Plus, I wanna wait for Even Beat. So, we're gonna do a couple of quests to wait for Even Beat. That's how Cleave dances around. Okay, I don't need anything else here. Otherwise, if you're not talking about your red phonumen force, whatever, then I'll make a game. That's all I need to know. Love how Cleve running around, though. <laughs> I like to imagine he stands into the music. Made the forest yesterday, nice. Yeah, see, they're pretty easy to level. I love leveling them at episode 4. It's so unfair. So let us know if you make the game TTF Sticky. Okay. Oh, you did it on very hard. What, what level is your character? I mean, I can join. I just need to know. Let's do... Let's pass a little time here. Just for clarity. Yeah, just, yeah, I, knew, I was gonna say, just let me know. I'll help you. I just need to know what character you're doing. That's all. Because I don't mind helping you towards very hard. 74. Okay, thank you, Hulkley. Like, if you need your 74 level, just let us know, Clef. That's all. I'm, I'm somewhat flexible today. I just need to know. 
So otherwise, if you don't say any anything otherwise, I'm gonna switch characters. Assuming you're bringing a force. Alright, you're switching. I need a character that needs- I'm gonna bring a character that needs XP. They can still do decent damage. But I, I don't need help with the, the ranger. You have a purple ID? Uh, what's your purple ID? I was gonna switch into the Hunu world. I don't really want to make a TTF on blue though. Bring in, bring in your red for now, because I think you mentioned your red. Unless your red is like, your red could be any level. Your red could literally be 81. I think it's fun. We'll focus on leveling that character up a bit, and then we'll switch to episode four. Once we've leveled a little bit. Let's not make it complicated. And then if you still have a character that you want leveled out of level 80, once we do, let's say, hour and a half, two hours with this character, we can try to level your character a bit more. Make it simple. Let us not overthink it. I was gonna say, I recognize this song. Ah, oh, it's a remix from Sonic Adventure. That makes sense. I'm like, I heard it earlier on stream. I haven't played Sonic Adventure. Yeah, we'll let uh, Cluck come in, bring in a red ID. Presumably the phone human force. Could be level 80, doesn't matter. And depending on how that goes, that will change my mind on what we do for the next couple of quests. But I just want to test the water a little bit. Left is here. Ah, uh, for new world, nice. Okay, so I've now joined the game. I'm gonna go get, uh, let's see, I got a Jaya. Got a Berserk handgun. We should really get a Gear Assault plus Dark Flow. And I got last one for the boss. Bring in a vice, doesn't hurt. Uh, always lose where the other one is. the Vivian on me right now. Let me put that in the character bank. So we'll help your character out this one a little bit. And then as I said before, if you need help with the other characters, just let us know. We'll do a couple quests here and then we could potentially mix it up a little bit. I'm somewhat flexible as I said before. But let's wait a little bit for even beat first. That should hopefully be good enough. Wall of weapons in my inventory. It's casual, casual hunter things. Switch to my vice first, I guess. Okay, so we'll clap make the game for TTF. And then, uh, yeah, depending on how the game goes, we'll see how- we'll see roughness with it. Hell Cleave can help a lot with the, uh, stun locks and stuff like that. With it, probably ye old spread needle. But even things like Respect of Tomorrow, I could potentially host as this character. And then you could join as literally anybody. That way the pressure is off. 
Because this character is decent at bosses. They're not the best I have, but they're decent. Thanks to Dark Flow. on the edge. <laughs> there we go. There we go, chat. I fortunately did not do math incorrectly with there. I thought I was going to kill myself with Gyrosol for a second. I'm like, did I round correctly? We're good. Good night. <laughs> Bonk. Safety heal. Oh, I knew that was gonna hit me. I knew, I knew, safety heal. <laughs> Although actually, fun fact, Clef, I saw you using fire on the dragon. If you have a strong chain lightning wand, it does more damage. The boss is kind of weird in that you can hit it multiple parts. It's like it'll say 30, but you hit 30 times 5. <laughs> it does more damage. Uh, depends on how you're lining up. So you gotta line up as though you're trying to... That's kind of overkill. You're trying to line up but you're like you're trying to hit the, uh, the feet, the wings, and the base. So it's potentially 4 hits. If you're coming from dead on, the head will count as 5 hits. That's kind of nice. So it requires a little positioning, but it is worth it. Get off of me. You know what, I got some time. I might as well kill these for XP. I'm not needed in the next room. Look at that, I'm contributing to XP per second. I did it. Did I leave scape dolls on? Yes, good. Hmm. Dare I lower my HP before uh, worm boss? Dare I risk it? You know what? I'll just giant it. Let's not worry about it. Uh, I sadly did not use grinders on this Jaya, but whatever. Happy teleport fun time is here. I guess when it first comes by, I could still technically gun it. Ah, uh, let's not worry about it. Let's just Jaya. Nice. Yeah, 1000 HP is not bad for falls. I mean, obviously you're not going to survive if falls focuses you with death lasers. Uh, on the final form, but... Oh, now I get invincibility? Whatever. Just, just slapping it down with Jaya, don't mind me. <laughs> inefficient Jaya still wins. Thank you, Inefficient Jaya. So if I had 20% more hit on the Jaya, I would never miss the final hit. Single player, this one's fine. Multiplayer, not so good. I'll have to get more of these at some point. Nice. I think Lef was using one of the outfits I was considering for a photo roll. I believe I was getting porn at one point with one of those on the first character I made. 
Oh, it's nice to see that color. I forget what red ID gives for Sinnoh Red offhand. We could kill it, it doesn't really hurt. I'm trying to recall if red ID is the skip Sinnoh wave. Debuff real quick so I don't die. Everybody's supersonic racing apparently. I apparently don't have my thing up to check. I don't recall if Red ID is worth it for Sinnohs. It's not one I do very often. It might be. I think it's the same thing where you still do the Sorcerer. Take those. I think Sinnoh Red was better than Greens. Oh well. We'll double check after the run. Ah, uh, Bracer. That's what it was. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna believe in Hellcleave and I'm going right for the exit. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, bye. I'll deal with that. I'll do some safety heals so you can get in. Uh, team, you're on your own. I will leave up my gear assault. Oh, it's a 1975. Thank you. I was like, I knew it was like an uber rare, but I'm like, it can't be one that I normally hunt. I'm like, damn, what was it? Thank you, Hellcleave. That was gonna bother me. I'm mind hunting a 1975. I should eventually get one of those. I'm gonna safety heal so I don't die to this. I think my gear soul actually hit it there, which was kind of funny. Let's lava scan in a little here. Stop that. And my own HP real quick. No, the heal. Rip. Damn, no dark flow. <laughs> oh, it's so close. <laughs> Such is life. There we go. Got at the tail end at least. Back to healing. I was gonna say I'm not I'm not doing the rest of this with uh Dark Flow, no thank you. Boxes, not really. So I believe the share cycle wand. I don't think you get heavenly arms from the bell rose, which is a bit sad. But I could be mistaken. Goodbye. Yeah, this sorcerer needs to go down. Give me your cycle wand. Let 
That feeling when he drops an item, but it's not cycle one. Hurts in the chest chat. Alright, uh, well I got last swan to basically troll this boss, so I think I'm good. Yeah, from this point forward, don't worry, Clef, I don't care about healing. <laughs> oh, like, I, I don't... I could do Dark Blow strats, technically, on Spinner Phase to set up for Phase 2. I could. I'd prefer not to. I think as long as you just flood the screen with Gafoe or something, we should probably be fun. Took out most of them at least. Oh, I gotta heal. <clears throat> Bad movement on my part. Unfortunate pattern, but I recovered. Oh, can you guys just go away from me? Jeez. Normally I get one or two homers. I don't usually get all five in multiplayer. That's a bit weird. Unfortunate when that happens, to be honest. Solid damage. I respect the Gifoli on the boss now that DMC is not there. Well, I'm out of range, can't hit the boss. Uh, I'm gonna go hard left here. We're gonna go middle. I'll revive Clef in a moment. Oh, Clef already got revived. So I would say, Clef, the big thing. That I'm noticing that's probably getting you killed. Never go middle. Oh. Almost killed the boss. I'm committing. <laughs> Goodbye. It's weird not being player one. I was like, oh, I had to move. I think I'm fine. I should have escaped though. Don't worry about me. I just call that a brief a brief nap time. Oh, I don't have a Foe set up on this character. That's actually kind of annoying. I'll have to fix that later. As long as I don't hit the boss here, I should be good. And now I get an extra phase. I think this is before... Yeah, this character is definitely not set up for false, but that's fine. There we go. Nice little Poe damage to finish. Nicely done. So I had an, I had an oopsie with uh, not healing on that, but that's fine. I think otherwise that went okay for me. This character badly needs this XP. And then who knows, maybe we'll get a red ring out of the whole ordeal. Put up a club at some point. Let's just chuck that away. Hmm. All right, so let's figure out what's going on with my techniques. Uh... What technique is that normally? Is it this one? Yeah, let's change this. Oh, and since I have it there anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's change this to this. That way I could just do this. I guess that's okay. Okay, that way I can actually do something while waiting on the boss phase there.
So I think we'll do at least one more of these, and then potentially I can host. And then we'll decide when we want to do even beach shenanigans. So I'll leave that more up to Clef, I guess, after we do one more of these from Clef. Which character you would prefer to level or need help leveling? Because right now it is shenanigans o'clock for ultimate mode in 8 beats, which is like a TTF. So if there's any character that was like, ooh, you know, they're like low 80s or whatever, this would be the time you could bring them in. After the next game, of course. So one more this character will level, and then I can always host RT at some point towards the end of the night. That'll help this character level, and she's the right ID for it, so anybody could... It's basically a free-for-all of IDs at the end of the night, I think. My bad. <laughs> I realized it was literally a cult TTF. Since I saw Hellcleave go away, I was like, wait a minute. Context clues. Well, fortunately, this character should level again. So my goal is to level this character and maybe my phone Earl, who is also red ID. So I'm fine with whatever at that point. Whoever hosts episode four, it doesn't really matter. Either way, I'll level a character that needs XP. For the group to get closer together because it's more efficient. I love Last Swan so much. attacks should do it. My oh, bad. Alright, now I'm good. <clears throat> Downside of last one. I gotta drain my HP. At least I'm starting to understand how much HP I'm losing, so it's definitely faster for me to gear all my HP away. I have like a rough idea based off the percentage health how much I'm gonna get. That is always scary. I'm <laughs> worried the head will land on me and it will kill me. For this. Ooh, didn't even get to lift off. I have no idea where I am relative to the dragon. I'll find out in a moment though. There I am. Uh I see what happened. Uh -huh. Let's keep that in mind with my controls. I should be good. Oh, red ID slimes. That's right. Potentially could pick up another lava cannon. Wait a little bit here so the group gets a little closer together. True, true, true. So we could split those with Rebarda, technically. I'll let Hulk leave to that room, actually. I'm gonna kill this room just for XP. Yeah, Lava's Cannon on Rare Slime. 
I'm just gonna kill these for the sake of getting XP because we gotta wait anyway. Honestly, it's the force. You could go straight to the uh, yeah the slimes. Maybe you could dupe them with uh, Robardo. Hulkweevil, stand behind. Or I guess uh, I'll let Hulkweevil. Never mind. Hopefully it's got Frozen Shooter. It makes more sense. Now I didn't get him. Oh, he got invincibility. Okay, never mind. We're good. <laughs> Worried the game was trolling me again. Goodbye. Rip my money, though, by the way. Give the salute to the 10k. Worth it though. Mm, I should probably heal at some point. Do I believe in my draw ability? Living on the edge for no reason. Let me heal. <laughs> I just wanted to see. I'm like, hold on. Am I awake? Can I outshoot that? Uh, I might as well just kill you for a second. Kafoe because they got nothing better to do. You know, that didn't do like the worst damage ever, to be honest with you, considering I'm not MST focused at all. 500 damage chip is not terrible. Sound like I could do anything anyway. I'm just waiting. It's putting them somewhat closer to my kill range. Like, and some of that will be evened out with levels, of course. Hmm. <laughs> How quick waiting for everybody to gather before the great run. We're like, bye. <laughs> yeah, maybe it isn't worth doing uh, Dark Flow here. Unless we get Triple Monitor and we're in a weird setup, so I don't think we're ever going to get the one cycle. I'll just keep my health high. You, you get Spam Rested here, I don't care. <laughs> it really just depends on party comp if it's worth it. I think I slowed it down with Lava's Cannon. Did it, yay. Because technically I could Dark Flow the turret, but that would be believing it spawns near me. Nice. Let's see what it does.
put myself low if I want to use it in the next room. So far, the soundtrack is actually decent. Yeah. I think, yeah. I, I didn't even end up using Dark Flow in the fight, to be honest. I need to bring in my uh, Disco. I was thinking the same thing. I tested it twice. I'm not really happy with it. I mean, it's, it's fine when you can get away with it, but it's like... Uh... I mean, this one does have machine percentage, to be fair, but it's more like if I can't get the lock because I'm not playing Excalibur, it's not worth it as much to me. Check, nothing of interest. That is not well aimed. Let's just move on. So I believe we are literally now entering even beat. So not bad. So if we want to give some super XP, we could potentially do that. Oh, that sorcerer was ultra dead. So I'll leave it up to Clef to some extent. So I could potentially host a red ID game. Um, and that would free Clef up to play any character that they want for XP. Or if they want to host red ID this one, I'll bring in a different set of characters. I'll be more aggressive. But I'm thinking episode 4 XP will be crazy. Getting a can of rouge would be nice. I'm not sure what other characters you have, but if you're looking to get stuff for Rangers, red ID episode 4 is pretty solid. Oops. I missed the one that was closest to me. Remember, I'm minus one off my normal cycle. Oh, now I get the good spinners. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what happened earlier. I was getting swarmed by, like, the, the whole mob of them. Not unlucky, just... Unfortunate positioning, mostly. So I don't think there is luck to this. I think it is set. The stronger this character gets, the better, and for sure, I'm going to level. Hmm, I could have moved a little more on that last shot to try to line up a hit here. I don't think I'm going to reach. Like, even holding upright, I don't think I'm going to hit. Uh, got a hit. It could have been a little better. Okay, I'm going to stand with Helcleave. We're gonna go in the middle. Oh, that boss just melted. That was like butter. <laughs> There's the lore, and then two two guns rapid firing. GG. Now I have a spell I can cast while I'm waiting. If I need to cast it. Nope, don't need to cast it here. Oh, wrong spell. There it goes. Oh, more fire damage. Keep going. Oh, the longest cycle. Oh, what a treat. Falls decided to be nice. Thank you, Falls. Five Falls. 
So at least I can conclude she does more damage in multiplayer than the Ramar with <laughs> Fireball currently. So she does about 44 more damage of Fireball, which is sometimes relevant. In single player when they have only 10,000, that's actually a lot more relevant. Nice level. A few people leveled. I got one extra accuracy, nice. Defense, MST, ATP. Everything I want to see on this level up. Because I am not near my caps. Curiosity, how far off is her accuracy if I unequip this? Only seven? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait. Like 15 levels, I get rid of Adam and replace it with uh, potentially another Centurion. Be nice. Freeing up an Adam for me would make me very happy. All right, I might just leave her with this gear because she's honestly the only character using Dark Flow at the moment. All right. So we'll leave the decision down the cleft. If you'd like to host episode four Red ID, we could do it. Otherwise, if you want to level a different character, I will volunteer to switch to Red ID. Going back to your 74. Okay. That's up to you, Clef. If you wanted some assistance with it, we could do a couple runs with you. The only thing I would do is I'd play Blue ID into it for uh, episode 4 shenanigans. Wasn't sure if Hellcleave needed to level an alternate or not. So just let me know, Clef, if you'd like some assistance leveling. We probably wouldn't do TTF, we'd probably do uh, episode 4. This blue ID episode 4 is so sick. I think it's 51 and the rest are 1. Interesting. 74 is also blue ID. Interesting. Alright. Uh, let's have a brief little detour then to level up some ults. Get Clef's alternate leveled a bit. Then we can have some episode 4 fun. So let me bring in the big bad. <laughs> I'm bringing in the big bad blue ID. <laughs> He's gonna bully some enemies. Although I don't know if he has uh, adepts on him. I might have removed those. It doesn't super matter. I just need to know where they are eventually. I'm just gonna check to see if he has them. He might not. I might have put them on the phone new world. In which case, I'll just quickly swap. So if Clef has a blue ID, we will join you in block two momentarily. I just need to check for adepts. Do you have a Sato, but no adepts? Okay. Let me get the adepts off my other character then. Uh, episode four, and then we'll do massive attack B. Once we're in there. Because that way you can get tickets, which go towards money materials, etc. And there's a lot of chances at good drops. I just need my add ups off this character. I could technically bring in this character, but she's slower. And I'd rather spend two minutes doing this and save five minutes. So let me do that real quick. So I'm going to roll my fingers on the keyboard because I got to put some items away. I will join you momentarily, Clef. I don't need like a ton of adepts either. Even just one adept is fine. Yeah, she's got my double adept. Yeah, you can go in the share bank. Once my Hugh New World doesn't need adept anymore, that'll be a good feeling. Put these away. She keep magical piece. I don't think it matters. She keep everything else that she has here. Okay. Yep, and we'll get it started.
We could technically do Beyond the Horizons, but Blue ID has so many good rares. It's like, I'll take this small XP loss for the chance of many Photon Crystals and all those other beautiful drops. So all I gotta do is get my Adepts and then we're good to go. Yeah, the double Photon Crystal drop plus potential Ignition Cloak is really good. Hopefully we'll end up seeing a rare one. It'll be a uh, B when we get there. The reason we do B is it has a lot of birds and it's short and it's completable. And now with the fix to the game itself, we don't have too much to worry about. I just need a Riffoe Emerge and then I think I'm good to go. I need to, I need to create another Riffoe Emerge. I think I just need a Red Barrier. I think I have a. Rafoe amplifier, just not a barrier, sadly. So anyway, I'm geared up for max damage, so I'm just gonna kaplow, kaplow everything until they explode. Okay. Oh, not bringing in your pink ID, help me. No worries, I'll leave. Yeah, this first right this first room right here is so stupid with XP. Like I want you to look at how fast this XP is on very hard mode for resets. Watch this nonsense. So all you gotta do, stand in the middle with Gafoe and Gafoe your brains out. Watch that XP. Hmm. Delicious. Anyway, that wave's dead. We're killing so fast I can't even get Foley stack. That's so sad. I'll try though. We'll get one good good Gafoli stack here for the insta kill. Love that XP. Look at that, we have 120 XP a second. We're we're competing with ultimate level XP right now. <laughs> so dumb. What a quest. This beginning portion is just so free when you have a good mag. It's such a beautiful thing. Like, oh, you thought it was your turn, Babudas? No, you're in my world now. And we gotta care slightly. I like to just go unarmed as Phonuman, just because I want the fast cast. So combine that with V801 and we just straight bully every enemy out of existence. There's nothing they could do. So I'm using... Ooh, nice photon drop. See that? Hell Cleave already benefiting. Hell Cleave too powerful. I like to Gafoe here, not because this is a fast kill, but I'm setting up for the next wave. I'll get like some chip damage on the next ones, potentially. Plus I need at least one Gafoe out for the Rappies that are after this wave. Nice kill. <laughs> I will definitely hit them for materials. I'm noticing it looks like you are now 75. I think you were 74 earlier. Congratulations. Enjoy the level. This is not always an interesting wave. Also, uh, none of us are going to be doing ATP. You don't have to debuff. <laughs> Pew Pew Laser, unfortunately, doesn't get benefited from Civil War, which makes me sad. But what I will do is Rafoe their brains out, because I love Rafoe. Rafoe is life. Oh, Photon Drop. Nice. See, look at that chat. I have officially gotten more playing very hard mode than Ultimate. Why does ultimate exist, chat? I have an honest question. <laughs> literally, literally getting more PDs per second than all of my ultimate yesterday. <laughs> so sad. All right, so what we like to do, we're gonna set up for a really good Gafoe position right here. 
And the reason we want to do this is every single wave leading into the door ponds is weak to Gifoe. Now, if you notice the far Rappy is not getting hit, you can move forward a little bit to ensure he gets double hit. And that's the only kind of adjustment you need to do. Just make sure the far Rappy gets hit or else the waves go slower. And then, uh, yeah, after this, we're going to fight Dorfon. But if we have Gifoe stacks, he might die instantly because Force is OP. I'm going to Grants. Oh, nothing they did. The Dorfon spawned at basically zero HP and Dorfon is dead. So, Force OP. Here's where I like to switch from Gifoe merge back to Rifoe merge. This is where I stop Gifoe for the most part. And it is almost a pure Rifoe run outside of... Uh, literally the first room of the basement. Otherwise, I'm just going to be doing Rafoe again. I guess technically I'm very hard. I could stick to Gafoe for a while, but it's just faster to Rafoe here. So I'll switch my merge just to go faster here. Nope. So I'll put one safety Gafoe out for the Dorfon, and then I'm going to destroy him with Rafoe. And the enemies are positioned in a way that Rafoe actually punishes basically every enemy. So you can stun lock the zoos and straight up kill the other enemies simultaneously. Kind of unfair. They are just getting absolutely melted and devastated right now. I sometimes leave single bar to out. Depending on distance from me, because it is faster than Grant's. Even on Phonuman. Well, actually, especially on Phonuman, because he doesn't have a bonus to Grant's. On Fomar, I'll, I'll generally not do that, though. Alright, well, back to the Gafoe room. So, this is just oops all Gafoe. If you somehow make it to the middle, just Gafoe repeatedly. And if you're not sure you can make it, you just do a little debuff first, and then GG. Okay, I'm in the middle of the room. It's over. I'm not even. Ch I don't even care what the weakness is. The weakness is Kafoe. See this wave, dead. <laughs> See this wave, dead. See this wave, also dead. <laughs> oh, phone Newman, you're so silly. <laughs> anyway, this is another wave that I'm gonna deband you just so you don't die to uh, this wave. But if you can manage to get into sort of the middle-ish here. So you kind of aim for this Rappy that falls down where I'm standing, and then you Gafoe here. This is my visual cue. As long as I'm vaguely here, I can kill everything with Gafoe. So just stack Gafoe. So even if the Marissa spawns here, dead instantly. Doesn't matter. Pyro girl, I'm trying to move towards you. Too bad, you have Gafoe. Oh, look at that. Silent Lizards, too bad. Too bad. Hey, look, we're at 140 XP a second. Look at that. We are almost up to a TTF. <laughs> we're almost up to a completed TTF run of 180. What a quest. Ah, uh, so right now there's some enemies at the far end of the room. So sadly, this will happen if we don't have war players. Gotta speed it up a little. So I'm gonna leave the middle. But you can stay in the middle. I recommend you do it, just because it's a good position. But uh, if we don't have four players, we gotta be mindful that some enemies will spawn out of Gafoe range, sadly. And funny enough, if you use Razan to kill Goron Detonator, it actually still does good damage on Marissa. So definitely don't worry about the Marissa most of the time. Normally it's very scary, very hard mode. It's like, no, no, no. If there's Goron Detonator Marissa, you, you cast the Razan. Okay, so we're just going to clean it out. Don't mind me just Razanding. I have literally gotten more materials here that are useful than Ultimate yesterday. That is so sad. I got like two power materials. Congratulations on level 76. So this is a perfect room to switch back to Rafoe Merge if you're playing here. So basically, there's going to be two groups on either side of the bridge. You could be the early bridge, basically where Hellcleave is. I'm going to go for the aggressive middle position so I can hit the far end. But essentially, once you're done with whatever's in front of you, you just go behind you. Gafoe is slightly too slow if you're wondering why I don't use it here. Uh, I did try Gafoe. I would have loved Gafoe to work here. So here's where I'm talking about. It's actually better... The Razand, because you'll kill the Marissas and still kill the Goron Detonator. But the Goron Detonator will die faster, and because it's more HP, you spend less time there. And I know that from having done that like 500 runs. <laughs> and that's the only reason I know that. I just timed it out. I'll make it legit faster. So here's another example. I'm going to go in the aggressive middle. I'm going to hit three. So you can stay on one side if you want. That's usually what happens with the teams. Um, whoever goes aggressive middle needs to basically solo the wave. And since I have max MST, I'll solo. 
And because I have Rafoe, I can instantly interfere. Here's an example where I'm going to Resound here because they have the most HP. So I'm going to stunlock the Goron Detonators, and if I happen to kill the Gorons, that's fine. Yeah, it's more important that they die. Now you can stay in the middle here, like where Halcleave is, if you want to hit a good group. Um, I'm going to go to what I will call, again, aggressive middle. So I'm going to provoke the spawns. And on either side of me, bad things will happen. Um, there's a safety spot where I can stand to dodge the fireball and stunlock with Resond. But you're in a pretty good position, nothing will basically target you. Um, I have to just be mindful that uh, I have to protect myself. Generally speaking, if it looks like it's behind me, I'll need help with it. Because uh, normally we have one other player potentially helping with that side. There we go. He's a regular foey there. Uh, Rufoey is also pretty good here, but if you're not sure, Razan can stun law. Like, see, I'm using Rufoey here to hit three birds. Pretty unfair. And I'm going to use Razan here to stunlock all four, because life is fair. And I leveled. Nice. That's fair. Right, chat? That's fair. This character leveled in very hard mode. Shake your head. Of course. I love playing Phonubin here. Welcome, Diz. Hope you're doing well. I'm back in my groove. I'm playing Blue ID Phonumin. <laughs> That's all I seek in life, chat. So this room is perfect for refoeing dead center Goron, and it kills the entire wave, which is hilarious. Uh, I'm going to resound, and then I'm going to wait a little bit, since I realize I'm very far ahead of chat. I'm going to go very slow with the Rebardus to make sure it's in good XP. Right, that's about as slow as I could do it and still stun lock. So slightly my bad. I could have waited slightly since the group was further away. But we'll call that a misplay on my side. Uh, I will immediately resign. Let them go forward. Then I'm going to Rebardo. Because the funny thing is, is if you resign them, they have to go slightly further forward before they attack again. And so that'll incidentally put them in range for Rebardo. Uh, but here, it's a little tricky. Do whatever makes sense. This zoo is just annoying. And here's an example where I just focus on damaging Gertabulu with Rafoe, and that just happens to kill Marissa. Now, if nobody has demons, you just grants, of course. Look at that, level 76 already. Hmm, come on, rare Rappies. Oh, no rare Rappies here. I'm gonna leave the team to deal with this, so I'm gonna get suctioned into Gertabulu. I love you can actually dodge his spells on very hard. <laughs> just straight up, just easy, easy to dodge. So this room is probably the trickiest. I like to call it the halfway line. If you draw a line dividing the thin part of the room with the opposite end of the wall, if you are beyond the halfway line, the AI will not behave the way you want them to. So I recommend you back up a little bit to go behind me or next to me. The reason you want to do this is otherwise the zoos will laser instead of flying forward and it wastes a lot of time. So I think they will... Nope, see, it seems too far over to the side. You need to come more towards my side. There you go. Helki can stand wherever because he's got a pew laser. Okay, there we go. But if we stand back here, essentially what will happen is the zoos have to dive bomb, and that means they're not lasering you, and they waste a lot of time. In fact, we can witness it here. So see, both both the zoos tried dive bombing there, but because we have uh, Gafoe out, slash uh, Razan, they couldn't do anything. So it's basically just a free kill. If you're wondering why I say that, it makes the room way easier. Look at that, 127 XP a second. That was pretty solid. And now we get to enjoy our tickets. Yay! Enjoy handing in tickets later. Potentially, you could get Gear Assault for free. Or 200,000 Meseta. Both of which are insane to get on very hard mode. Uh, we're going to do the wall check. I think Helcleave is doing it with PP Laser. Uh, we resound those, because there's technically boxes on the other side. And mission complete. And again, I got more XP here than episode 2 sometimes, so we'll take it. Nice tickets. But like, this is THE quest for Blue Phonumen. It's such a beautiful quest. Learning it is so rewarding, because you can power level anybody and everybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out, I guess. Hope you're doing well, Diz. <laughs> I see Ziggy and Iggy. Oh no. I'm multiplying.
Ooh, just bringing in a level 84. Welcome, Diz. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's Oops All Mages. Yeah, the other quests we could do alternatively, if you just want to push for raw, raw XP, and you don't care about items at all. Uh, there's a VR quest called Beyond the Horizon. You need to bring in money. But if you have, what is it, like 50,000 per difficulty or something? Oh, this is not. This is episode one. Rip. I think we reset time. Yeah, remake. Rip. I'll make the game. I'm blue ID. Ziggy VH. King. Very hard. <laughs> Frank says this. Yeah, we all, we all go there. It happens. So yeah, we'll do Beyond the Horizon at some point for uh, Clef. That quest is bananas, Clef. If you've not been running it for XP, no worries. If you want to see stupid, this is the team to do it. Actually, yeah, let, let, let's just do it now. Who cares? <laughs> just do Beyond the Horizon. We can always go back to the other one that gives tickets and stuff in a moment to wrap things up. All right. So I'm going to drop money for Clef. I will pay for Clef. There you go, Clef. Come here. See? So oh, come on. I did be on the Ryzen team. We have to talk to the other guy. So I'm leaving 200,000 for Clef. <laughs> so that way he could pay the fee. Just come to me, Clef. Oh yeah, you got 200,000? Sure. Then talk to this guy. You don't need that much. I just put a, a, an amount in there. 30,000 is the fee. I just like 200,000 to pay. All right, so here's the deal. So if you are a force, once everybody's loaded in, walk forward. Oh no, this isn't PSO. If that makes sense, it's a Sonic song. You walk forward and spam Gafoe. And if there's a lot of forces, somebody should just spam ice. So I'm going to spam Gafoli since I have the most merges. But if we cover every element here, we could just bully them and there's nothing they could do. The XP is completely bonkers when you stack Gafoli. Someone found the hidden challenge, fake it yellow. Pretty much. Ooh. Welcome back, Sean. So at the end of this wave, we'll, uh, not this wave, not this specific wave, but once we're done with this room, we'll get a TP recharge. I'll try to let you know when it's coming up. We got a little bit to go, though. Nice level up. Dude, we've already caught up to XP of the other quest, and we're just in the first room. To give you an idea of how bo bonkers this XP is. So much XP. Oh, look at that, almost 160 XP a second. Hey, we almost caught up to TTF XP. All right, and we'll get TP back here. I'm gonna reapply buffs because I can. Enjoy your TP. Uh, spam Gafoe. <laughs> we'll occasionally need to do other spells, but seriously, this the first couple of rooms are just literally oops all Gafoe. We need some like ice occasionally to hit the things that are strong against it, like Zeus or like uh, Astar. More specifically, Astarks actually. And we we'll, we'll have to take out Babudas when they see them. They're the annoying enemies. I could chip them out with the Gafoe, but we need Robarda to finish. Yeah, this XP is dumb. So we're already rivaling a lot of ultimate quests, by the way, at 170 XP a second. Uh, so this this wave needs uh, Roborta. 
this quest is a little risky if, uh, with the dwarf bonds, but if you have enough players, it doesn't super matter. Just make sure you're always at full health or you're probably going to die. Just the rule of thumb. If not at full, spam heal. <laughs> nice. I was gonna say, I didn't see a Gapoe out there on my behalf, so I just put one out there. I'm not taking risks. So we're at 180 XP a second. So we're, we're now on par with TTF on Ultimate. We just cleared earlier today with three people. If you want an under understanding of why this quest is unfair, um, you can see what happens. This is actually legitimate leveling, even for people in Ultimate. And it is nowhere near as hard as doing Boss Rush. Nice level up. Oh, we got run over, but that's okay. That's why we got some healing. Oh, now there's a rare Rappy. Whatever. Whatever. Rip Ignition Cloak Chance. Well, that's worth a lot of XP. 745 is no joke. We almost hit 190 XP a second. What a world, chat. This quest is so silly. So there's a very strong chance Clef will get to 79 before this quest ends. We have 15 minutes left of this quest. Now, sadly, the XP will go downhill after this room, but it's like a solid 10 plus minutes of raw XP. Oh, I didn't quite damage him enough with Gafoe. That was my bad. Yeah, that should help a little bit. And room is cleared. So normally, if you're playing solo, uh, you just reset here. You, you don't even bother. We'll, we'll try to clear the quest. This is uh, Beyond the Horizon VR on episode 4. It's, as you can see, it's pretty easy. And again, this is a quest you can do, an, like, you can have an ultimate level character do this. It's, like, hilariously efficient at giving you XP. And if you clear the quest, you get your money back. Um, it's definitely recommended that if you want to do this, like, all the way through, that you bring adepts, because this quest is kind of expensive on tri-fluids. So if you do run out, just let me know. I I'll carry some spares. I don't need like all my tries. But hopefully your level ups will make up for some of the distance. If you're not sure, you can just hold still and regen some TP. Yeah, sadly, this room is pretty XP inefficient unless... Basically, the idea is that at least one person needs to stand opposite of the party at all times to hit the people that are more annoying to hit. And then, you know, weaker members group together, etc. You have one adept? Oh, that's good. That's definitely going to help you. Otherwise, you there's no way you can complete the quest without an adept. <laughs> I'm convinced. It just, there's no way. But um, other garb definitely helps, for sure. So yeah, two people potentially spamming Gafoe on either side is there. No adepts or limiters. No worries. We'll probably get clipped to pretty much 79, I think, before the end of the quest, if not 79. This quest is, like, stupid for XP. And then we could just play legitimate ultimate. <laughs> 184 XP a second. Bonkers. I think when it's uh, double Goron at the end, that's the signifier that it is the final wave. So we're not there yet. If you see double Goron detonator or whatever, and they're grouped near me, I think, that'll be the final wave. We got some time. Uh, That might be the final wave. Oh, no, no. I lied. I'm- ooh, I ran out of TP. That's awkward. We'll get it back. 79, nice. Oh, this- this might be it. Never mind. 
I didn't realize there was more than one double Goron detonator wave. Whoops. How many are there that are doubles? My bad. We'll find out eventually. I usually, in my defense, I usually reset. You know what? Now that they're clumped near me, this is probably the final wave. Okay, there we go. Now that is the legit final wave. <laughs> I didn't realize there were multiple sets of two. Normally, they die so fast in multiplayer, I don't even register what they are. So here's the deal. We're basically going to be going in circles. You can follow the group if you want, or you could wait in corners to speed things up. It, it doesn't really matter where we're, where we're at. Anything good drove while I was gone? Mostly just PDs. Which reminds me, Sean, if you still need those texts, once we're done with the quest, I'll assist you. But remind me though, was that force text that you were looking for, or were you looking for ranger stuff? I don't recall. Alright, so chat's already waiting at the other one. Nice, nice. I'll save some time. Hundred and ninety XP a second, so we actually out XP TTF there for a moment. What a silly quest. This is just where it gets a little awkward. I think I'm gonna come from this way in Rafoe. Yeah, Rafoe is extremely strong here. Sadly though, things like Gafoe are useless for a while. Once we get past this room, Gafoe becomes god again. But right now, it is Rafoe's world, for sure. Or stuff? No problem, we can help you with that. I'm sure Clef is probably not expecting this much XP. <laughs> what a quest. Gotta grab your dinner, no problem. Take your time. Deal Clef up. Get some Grances in here, goodbye. So we're actually making extremely good progress. We might even get to the final room, which could push Clef all the way to uh, 80. This is it before, the XP's really good here. If you could somehow clear it in ultimate, it is amazing, but on very hard, it's still absolutely worth it, and it is not hard for forces. But it's always recommended that you bring in uh, potentially something like Bringer's Arm or something that gives demons, specifically for Gerdablu. So that's why Hellcleave is very useful here as the Ranger to help deal with the Gerdablu between the Pew Pew Laser and uh, just fast Gerdablu kills. Because that's where you're going to lose a lot of time in it, if you're looking to actually full clear the quest. Because that's like 18 plus seconds of Gerdabulu, versus like 6. <laughs> so that does add up when you have multiple Gerdabulu spawns. Like so. They're gonna spawn near me. Unlucky. Double Gerdabulu. Is that actually the final wave? Or is there one more? Oh, there's more. Oh no no, I think there's one where it's like Quadrabulu, but they're like spread out. But we are we are very close to the end of the room. Don't get me wrong. I don't think more than two minutes more, and then we'll be done. Let me just refoe this room real quick, don't mind me. Where is this lone yaoi? There it is, thank you. A little bit of time lost there, because I wasn't sure where it was. Ooh, Razan time. Still going pretty strong XP-wise. Level 80, congratulations. We got very far. Grant's o'clock time. Got a Rafoe, please. Thank you. I 
Uh, this is grand spam time for sure. Bugger to balloon. Nearing where I think the final wave will be then, based off the timer. We're making good progress. This quest is generally somewhat hard to complete, unless you have a lot of iron gear. The XP, as you can see, is crazy. Ah, uh, that feels like a final wave. Hello, Double Girder Bulu. I'm sad that you're pulling me in. I have to deal with you. Welcome, Luke. Hope you're doing well. Double Guard of Bulu wants me bad, chat. Get it off of me, please. I didn't think I'd bring... Yeah, I didn't bring any weapons. Uh, now we're good. So congratulations again on level 80. So my recommendation, pick a path, pick a, pick a spot along the path and just spam Gafoe. Set up for other waves. And then whenever you see something that is not fire resistant, or that is fire resistant, you just spam whatever you need. Otherwise, back to Gafoe for insta-kills. That's fine. I'm gonna move slightly further down so I can hit the far end easier. I think we're losing a little time because of the one that's over here. There we go, that was much faster. I'll let Clef handle more of the middle. I'll go towards the side. So I think I could Rafoe into the group. Yeah, there we go. Much faster. Actually, since I'm Gafoe spamming now instead of Rafoe, let's actually equip the right thing. Nice level up. Might as well as enhance our damage properly now that we're out of Rafoe mode. be a little closer to the middle. Well, that's getting me hit. Mm. Oh, careful, Clef. Don't die. There you go. <laughs> so close. If you die, it does boot you out. That's the only downside of the quest. Uh, maybe here-ish is fine, so I can still get some hits on the other enemies. I'm gonna heal myself. Nice levels. Ooh, look at that raw XP. Sick. Is this gonna be a quest clear? Hm. I mean, I guess, I guess I should expect that with three forces. Hey, look at that! Two minutes left over! Good job, team. You got almost 200,000 experience, which is ultimate level experience. Anyway, enjoy. You're now level 81. <laughs> what a quest. <laughs> I'm gonna go restock. That was fair, right? Fair, fair and fine. Fair and balanced. What a quest. Quest is fun when it's all for us. Yeah, it is. It's like, oh, 
Get a little ranger support in there, a little pew pew laser. It's like, oh, divine. Let's put away some of our cash. So now that that's out of the way. What do we need next as a group? It is even beats. Did team need me to make episode four red ID? Potentially for some uh, ultimate leveling while getting items. Just let me know. Just gonna double check that. Do I need the Kafoi merge off him? Let me check my bank. If I got a spare one in here, I don't care. He doesn't need it. Welcome, Sean. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Sean some things. Your game for farming units. I don't know what units you mean. You have to be more specific than that. All right, let me hand in the quest. I'm gonna help Sean out. Receive the reward at the counter. B101 limiter. Interesting. Okay. In that case, what I can do, I can host as a green ID. People can bring in whatever they want for episode four. And we go for Galatine V101 Heaven Striker. That sound good for everybody. It's a good range of weapons and a unit. Should you get your ranger? Whatever you want to play, episode four. I just gotta, oh, that's not the, I'm all... I gotta log in now, damn. I did C bank four, I meant to do C bank nine. I'm just gonna help Sean do it. So trade units, whatever you need to do to get ready. I need like three minutes. I'm gonna help Sean out. Once I remember what C bank it is. <laughs> it... I should have typed nine nine because it's always my last C bank. I never count to see what the C bank number is. I'm assuming it is literally nine. But I never pay attention. Yeah, so all host has, I think, a Fomar. So it doesn't matter if the beat runs out at all. But chat can bring in whatever they want. Eight is the max. No worries, Cliff. You can stick around for now. I'm just helping Sean with some text. So while team is waiting, <laughs> potentially you could do a PW3 or whatever if it's still the quest of the week. I didn't pay attention. I didn't look at the RBR. So here you go, Sean. Let's go ahead and make a game for you. Uh, I'm going to make it in episode two. I'll call it Ziggy Sean. No password. Just join block two when you're ready. Oh, no PW this way? What is the RBR? Let's find out in real time. Sadly, sounds like it ended. It ended. Sweep up operation one. Sweep up operation five. War of limits five? Oh, war of limits is the one with this. You need warps, because otherwise it wastes your time, I think. It's that one. All right, so let's just help you with some materials and stuff. Well, that scared me. I thought it disconnected. It was just windows. Like, don't do that to me, Windows. I'm traumatized from earlier. So many Gazans. Um... I mean, this should be a pretty good home for most of this. I'm not going to give you my 27 grants, but I'm going to give you at least a 26 grants. How's that? We'll, we'll do it. We'll make it even. So enjoy the high-end techs. Did you need to borrow a mind mag in order to learn these? But that should be like a completed level 30 set with some basic damage. You'll be okay? Sure thing. But anyway, that should make your life way easier as a force. <laughs> feel, feel that like extra 90 damage. Okay. Um, anything else I could randomly give away? Not really. Not for forces. I have a lot of ranger stuff, but that's fine. 
Anything else I need to check before I go back. There's four you don't really need on here. If you don't need them, you can hand them back. Yeah. Unless you have another fours. I do key keep them, I don't care. Um hmm. Huh. I think I'm good then. Ooh, already had level 30s of those. Interesting. I mean, if you got level 30s of those already, that's a good sign. So those are very powerful support techs. Uh, let's see. I think I'm otherwise good to go. Oh, your friend gave it away. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so yeah, just let us know, Sean, if you want to hop in a game later. We do a rotation system kind of thing. You're just missing level 30 offense spells. I'm gonna say probably like 90% of the people don't have level 30 offense. Maybe the maybe the long-term grinders have assembled a full set for one character. But I'm gonna switch back to Twitch chat. So good luck, Sean. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, no worries. Cause some people swamp in, swamp out. I wanna make sure if you wanna play with us. You get the chance. But experiment with those techs. Do for your damage. Let me know if that's a game changer or not. But it should feel a lot better. Don't think you have a single level 30. I I've collected a few. But I I've been playing a long time. I think I got a Grants, a Migid, and a Gafoe, I think. I actually got the important ones, surprisingly. Alright, so I'm gonna host this green ID. Are level 30 tech drops also affected by section ID? No, they're affected by the area that you farm in. So each area in ultimate essentially will potentially give you a different level 30. Is the the short the short gist of it. They're incredibly rare. Yeah, there's tables on the wiki. I'm gonna go ahead and host the game for people that want to join. So let us move forward. So thank you for your patience. We got to help another person with their force. We got Clef buffed up to 80 with another character. Diz is now here to level. So you can bring in whoever you want. Ooh, did I put my add-ups away? I hope I did. I'm gonna be very sad. Moment of truth. Did I put away my add-ups? I put away my... Oh, I did. Thank you. You have no idea, chat. I forget that all the time. But be able to one double add up. We're good. Okay. Um... I don't really need anything with me. I guess I could bring bringers and... I control with Guardiana because it's funny, but I should probably bring in Slicer. Actually, you know what? Let's see how much Galwin sacrifices by HP. We gotta learn. I don't think I'm gonna use these. I could use Ice Sap on the boss specifically, but everything else is just kinda eh. As long as I have my uh, merges, I think I'm happy. Like, I definitely don't wanna be willing three seals through here. I wanna be doing a uh, Gafoe merge, Rafoe, and definitely Rabarda for boss. On the off chance that we manage to get a uh, rare boss, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't need three seals if we're not doing a uh, chambered in. I'll still hold it for now, but whatever. Actually, beginning room, Rafoe, and I think we're good. Something like that. Let's do a nice little fun boss rush. All one boss of episode four. But anyway, uh, I'll try to explain it for people that haven't done the quest before. Again, don't take my word for it as the the master of this quest. I've played it a lot, but it doesn't mean I play it well. 
So essentially what I like to do to stop them from running, I usually switch to Rafoe or just let a ranger bully these rat peas. So initial ones are not too bad. It's the wave afterwards. I don't want to spook, for example, if I'm playing for badges. Ooh, where's the rat pea? Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, I didn't want to spook him. That's why I don't use a uh, Gafoe there. That is the exact reason I don't do that. Rip. But anyway, that's potentially uh, XP loss on XP week, so that's why I don't do that. It's not the end of the world. Fortunately, it's not like... It's not anniversary where you lose badges or whatever if they get spooked. And then we'll just go back to Gafoe stacking. Punish the Babudas. We sadly don't have anything of interest on green ID compared to red ID. But it's okay. Oh gosh, how much am I holding? Five scape dolls. That would explain it. I <laughs> like, wait a minute, something's weird. I need a mono fluid to free up a slot. I don't need a heavenly body, so we can just junk that for points. So it's gonna go fire, ice, lightning, and then from there you can start sacking Gafoe to set up for lizards and just hope that your ranger friends take care of the next wave. I'm gonna start setting up Gafoe actually. Just on the ass stock with the Gafoe. Like, Bowie should still be out if we kill fast enough. Oh, I got a little damage from it. <laughs> it even hit the other wave. That's convenient. And then uh, after these two zoos are double dwarf on, so I'm just going to go towards the center of the screen to try to dodge them. Oh, I'm sorry. Triple ass sarks first. Triple ass sarks, then it's double dwarf on. So I don't like being in the middle of the arena because then you tend to get splatted. So I usually just pick a side and let them come to me. The downside is if people are spamming in the middle like that too, it makes it harder for the ranger to uh, stun them potentially, depending on who you have with you. I should have wanted to screw this. I was going for a special cancel that I realized, never mind, they're too injured. Not needed. I think if I was if I swapped in Red Ring for three seals, I probably could have landed Bringers more consistently because Fomar ATA is terrible. But uh, Slicer broken, so stick to Slicer. Hey, speaking of which, how much HP does this drain? Oh, 100 per ish. Interesting. Ooh, that drains a lot of HP. Oh, I, I gotta practice with that soon. Anyway. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter for this wave. Next wave is immune to fire, sadly. The wave after this should take some fire damage. I'm gonna set up for the next wave. I set the Buddha since I wasn't close to them. I cast the Gafoe. Bowie, nice, real quick. And we're gonna get the horrible wave. I think it goes like Astark <laughs> into the Babudas. <clears throat> so just kind of an unfriendly wave in general, the forces. I could put this out to slow them up, but it's not gonna do that much damage. Then after this, it's Oops All Gafoe. Because essentially, there'll be a lot of lizards and Astark, lizards and bird, etc. But for a force, you don't need to care with what comes with the lizards. It's just lizards will perish. So you help the ass start kill a little bit, but you believe in the other team members to kill it. And then you spam more Gafoe because it's funny. Unfortunately, this time at least Gafoe hits the zoo. And unfortunately, we're about to get Dwarf on, so I'm going to... I guess I'll stay in the middle since we're already split. Normally, I kind of go back towards the entrance a little. But it's not a big deal either way. I have been the lasered. Nice paralysis, thank you, Hulkly.
Okay. <laughs> this is a fun wave. You walk forward, laugh, Gafoey. <laughs> what can they do? Nothing. Tell them nothing. Stupid satellite lizards. But we're briefly going above 200 XP a second. Every zoo is something interesting. Hey, photon crystal, nice. Hello, Babudas. Razan time. I'm gonna immediately Gafoe. So I can maybe chip out the Buddhas and or hit the zoo if it dive bombs. If it's allowed to do anything, that is. And back to Gafoe o'clock. So your visual cue is if you see a quadruple Astark wave, as a reminder, we all huddle and hide on one side of the screen. The Quadra Astarks, you respect it. So right now we can do whatever we want. A way to change the fortune? Interesting. I got a couple of Gafoes out for this wave. Uh, it's not this wave, but I think the next wave, which will be the Astarks. So for now, do whatever you can to kill things. And then get ready to run from the middle. Yeah, okay. Running time. <laughs> Come to hell, Cleave. So do not spam Gafoe. We're going to wait for a very specific time. We're going to try to kill the Astarks. We're gonna use some ice text if we got them. I'm gonna wait a little bit. One, two, three, Gafoe. And that'll stop the charge. So we can use like Mercurius Rod so we don't have to time it at all. I just spam it. But if we wait a little bit, it means that they at least get close enough and we still damage them. So it's just one of those things. Ooh, did living on the edge. Level ups matter. Okay, anti-level 6. Uh, do I value scape dolls at the moment? No. I'm gonna drop scape dolls for people that need them. I definitely want some moons to make up the ones I used by accident. Okay. So here's, here's the deal. Your visual cue is double bird. When you see double bird, you go full panic Gafoe mode. Because the thing after double bird is uh, Marissa's. Right now, do whatever you feel makes sense. But you see double bird, you respect it. Marissa's are the only thing that you do not want to see ever get a turn. So the trick is to try to memorize what the wave right before them is. If it feels like it's inconvenient to kill something with Gafoe, more often than not, the wave afterwards you can spam Gafoe on. That's my rule of thumb. But for now, we're fine. I don't see double bird, I don't care. <laughs> see double bird, I'm going full Gafoe. Alright. So we, we gotta kill them, but just remember, when they start getting low, you, you hit that panic button. Let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> like, you do, you do not want to see what these things do without with Gafoe out. So fortunately, we've stacked so much Gafoe because we were prepared. We got rid of the problem wave. Now, if you go to the far end of the room, there are Rappies that spawn. This is efficient if you want to get XP out of the Rappies here, which I kind of do. And from here, we're basically fine. That was, that was the hard part of this room. We're coming up to one of my favorite rooms in the game. It's very easy to manipulate, and it teaches you how to deal with zoos, which is nice. And it's okay for your default spot response to just be Gafoe, because honestly, it probably should be in this room. Speaking of which, oops. Not using Rafoe here. I thought my damage looked a little low there. I did a self-check on that one. Alright, so here's the trick. The next room, if you don't walk in a straight line and you just do like a little bit of a fidget, that is good enough to make the zoos come and dive bomb you. So wait for the group. And then you can catch them in a Rabarda. After the after the zoos spawn, it'll be... Uh, so I'll do a little fidget. After the zoos spawn, it's going to be two Goron detonators near their door. For both doors. So I walk forward a little bit to try to debuff them. And usually that works. 
Keep in mind, right after this wave is Marissa's, so if you see them getting low, it's okay to go panic Gafoe mode. Because they're going to spawn roughly where I'm standing, and I want them to perish. So I'm just going to stack Gafoe here. I'm going to believe in our non Gafoe stacking. Goodbye, Marissa's. Don't want to see what you do. Goodbye. <laughs> so as long as we remember where the Marissa waves are, a lot of the problems of the quest go away. Because being surprised by Marissa is a terrible life experience. And sometimes so in where Goron Detonators are are nice, because you need to know to debuff them, if, especially if you're playing with new players. Let alone new characters, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Because there's just a lot of annoying enemies here. But generally, if you just keep spamming Gafoe, and if you have your Gafoe merge, and your Fire Scepters, your damage is phenomenal. So it'll carry us basically the rest of the way. Like, the worst that happens is you slow up a wave that is not weak to Gafoe. Oh, nice little rappies in the middle. They're about to get melted. Thank you, team, for stacking Gafoe. And uh, unfortunately, it's going to be Gurdabulu double do. So this is where it gets a little tricky. I would say if you're like a solo force in this scenario, you actually Razan to stunlock the Zeus and potentially stunlock the Gurdabulu to give a uh, team time to kill it. Uh, otherwise, you could just Gafoe or whatever, or Rabarda, depending on what your distance is. Easy kill. So we'll wait for the Rappies to pop up, because they potentially give materials and or good techs since we're deeper into the game. Nicely done, team. That HP material, take these. Uh... What was the Marissa wave in this room? Hmm. <laughs> hmm, I don't remember. I'm thinking. Processing. I Oh, it might be double do on the side into Marissa. It might be double do on the side into Marissa, maybe. It's definitely Goron Detonators first, though. So I'm not worried here. I think it's going to go to double do here, I think. Yeah, I think after this might be the panic wave. I'm going to chip them out a little, and I'm going to go right back to panic mode. Because the worst thing that happens is I'm going to damage a wave that potentially takes some damage from Gafoe. Uh, it's not the Marissa wave, but that's fine. The lingering Gafoe did do some damage from where I was standing. That's fine. Yeah, this wave looks a little annoying to kill with Gafoe, so I'm going to float some fireballs out here. That's fine. Where was the Marissa wave? Let's find out together. Oh, it's after the zoo? Oh, you're already spamming Gafoe. That's why I don't remember what the wave is. You're already using Gafoe. That makes sense why I don't remember. They just die too quickly. Mystery solved. There's basically one big Marissa wave per room, and then once you're past that, you don't have to worry about more waves, at least. We're averaging almost 260 XP a second, and we haven't even reached the boss, which is insane. Like, just think about it, your character is not even, like, remotely close to max MST or anything else. You're already getting phenomenal XP and potentially good drops. Episode 4 is bonkers for forces. What a, what a fun little game we play. Alright, so we're coming up to the final room before the boss. So... Problem enemies are Goron Detonators in the middle, and then expect Marissa's in the middle at some point. But fortunately, there's not like a whole ton of them compared to the other rooms. I think it's like three or four. So there, if you happen to not get the Gafoe, it doesn't matter. So we'll deep, we'll debuff these enemies so we can go closer to the middle. I'll try to tank for the team since I have a lot of HP. But basically, a lot of the problem enemies are going to be on the far side in the middle. So if you're really not sure, you could stick more towards the entrance. Final wave will be Gurdabulu at the far end. And that's that's about it. Just Gafoe. You can react to anything that's not Gafoeable. <laughs> that's all I'll say. If you're already Gafoeing, it doesn't matter if Double Goron appears in the middle. Because you've already Gafoeed and you dealt with the Rappies. But I'm going to go immediately back into Gafoe after these, because these seem like an inconvenient wave. A yeah, nice try, Marissa's. Didn't fall for your shenanigans. So fortunately, I do a lot of damage, so if even one other person Gafoe's, it's basically over. Yeah, it's over. So I think it's two sets of Gorons in a row. So if we do some Gafoe, it might hit the next wave, maybe. But it doesn't it doesn't super matter either way. And eh, did some damage. Yeah, the it's weird that the final wave in this room is like the easiest. I think they felt bad about the other rooms or something. 
So again, we've already stacked up a ton of Gafoe from before, so we just gotta kill the Goron Detonator. And I'll hit you with a Gafoe, but I think it might be Gurdabulu next. Yeah, this is the final wave. So what'll happen is if somebody has Slicer Fanatic, like I'll cleave there, the, the, the mini boss is what I was going to correct myself, uh, dies very quickly. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, generally speaking, the boss's weaknesses will change depending on what boss it is. Welcome, Void Money. Enjoy your dinner. So, what I do is I assume the following. If it is standard boss for this area, and it's not the rare boss, fire on the spinners if you have Foley, assign Foley. It's really important that you have access to it. Um, if you have invincibility, you can technically get Foley to clear stuff out. Um, for the people coming in, let's see, we're gonna switch to Rafoe here, potentially. So basically, it'd be spinners equals Foley. When you get past spinner phase and it gets knocked out, ideally, you'll hit the one that's color-coded red or orange to advance the phase. Um, so I'm gonna walk a little diagonal here, so that way we don't line up so the spinners don't all kill us. If you're wondering why I'm walking kind of weird relative to the rest of the group. So it'll be fun. Oh, we got rare boss. Well, throw everything I was about to say out the window. I don't remember what the rare boss weakness is. Let's find out together, chat. Is it ice, lightning, or fire on the spinners? I, I don't play Conjury enough to remember. So funny enough, we got trolled. <laughs> Just one of those things. What's your weakness? Is it ice? It's ice. Okay. So it's ice on these spinners. But ultimately, the boss weakness after this is the same. So once we knock it down, so I'm targeting one that has a red color in the middle. And once this thing dies, that means that we can hit the weakness of the enemy. And I think it might be fire for... Yeah, it's con it's fire for this. So Rafoe this. For people that are looking to kill the boss after this, just note that for everything other than Shamberton, its weakness will be ice. So if you have an ice wand plus Rebarda merge, this is where you save so much time if you bring them here. I highly recommend to get a Rebarda Merge if you're looking to do a lot of this boss in solo play for force. So here's the deal. We don't need this many players to go fight the boss. So for people that have less than 700 health, actually Diz and Clef, I recommend if you take a look at the map, I recommend you stay in the bottom right. So I'm going to walk to show you where you should go. Actually, Hellcleave is already about where you should go. So essentially, if things go well, we're going to one cycle the boss. And you can stay here. So I'm going to circle. You should be about here. Just be on the lookout. Just wait a little bit. There could be spinners that attack you. They will pop up. Just keep an eye on the minimap and just be, be prepared to run. So your goal is to use Barda when the boss comes out of this room. So if you do have to come in this room, splitting it up into teams, you can walk along the wall here to dodge the tornado if it does the tornado attack. Then from here, you hopefully don't get spinnered, which unfortunately we did get spinnered. But what that means is if you are able to reach the boss, you debuff if you have a melee companion with you, and you spam ice. So because I do like no damage, I'm going to switch into ice staff, and I'm going to switch into Rebarda. Oops. Or I got knocked down and that messed up my menu ink. Thank you, game. Love that. Love that when that happens. My favorite. But fortunately, Hellcleave has Pew Pew Laser, so he's going to handle most of the damage here. Um, it is a little risky to Rebarda here because I could mess them up. My goal is mostly if it somehow gets desynced, since it's very easy to miss the back row of spinners. Like there, I'll get like a free freeze to speed it up a little. Yo, Hellcleave. So essentially what'll happen is we're gonna pop it here, and if we kill all the pieces at once, it'll say 2552 in the monster reader. That's how you know you did it right. So that means it's gonna go to where, roughly where I directed the team to be, and all you need to do is spam Barda or Grants. Just kill it as fast as you can. <laughs> spam, spam, spam. As long as you're not in front of it, it can't hurt you for a while, so it's a pretty easy kill. And boss done. Congratulations. Good job, team. You ambushed the boss in the other chamber that saved like 30 seconds. Now, ideally... Ooh, is somebody able to cast spells here? Ooh, walk around. Oh, there we go. There's the wiggle. Yeah, just got the wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just is showing off. <laughs> I love the wiggle. <laughs> so if you get injured right as the boss dies, it uh, cancels you being stunned. Oh, I got Centurion. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Drop a little escape doll, don't need that. Hello, Centurion. Oh, Diz also got a Centurion. Nice, nice. There we go. <laughs> Diz got a unit. I don't know if it's the one Diz was looking for. Sadly, no V101s. Well, 
welcome back great performance we got a little above 270 ish xp if i was looking at that correctly so almost 300 xp a second for a pretty smooth run and again lots of endgame rares pretty nice stuff so this is another run that i think is absolutely worth learning I just hear the weirdest sound effects going on right now. I'm just gonna nod my head and go, mm hmm. Uh, let's put away our three seals because I'm not doing that specific one and I'd rather hold more items. I got to see what Galwin did, but I don't need it. If I'm playing solo, I want this. Right now, I don't need this. Uh, I don't need Guardiana with me at the moment. Uh, I'm actually gonna put away the bringer as well. How's this new news in here anymore? Sorry about that clip. Hopefully you had a good time. Billy Hatcher OST, says Luke. It's actually Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. I don't know why the Boingy Boingies are in here. But there we go. So it looks like we have potentially a free slot, but hopefully you had a good time, Clef. You got your character from 74 to 87, I think. So that was uh, quite a level. Mix of a lot of different games, maybe. I'm not sure how many of these are remixes. Some just say unknown. It could be uh, from the other games as mentioned. Hmm. All-star Billy Hatcher. Good call out. Good call out. I wasn't looking at the song titles until this now. Today I learned. So there we go. So I'm not sure, Sean, if you're still around, if you want to hop in. I believe we have a free slot. Sean is excited. <laughs> so I walked through the quest. <laughs> when in doubt, Gafoe in doubt. <laughs> so we'll do another one of those. Oh, this character is going to hit 200. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. We live and learn, I guess. So we're in block two. Oh, I'm going to need another soundtrack after this. First 200? No, unfortunately I got another 200 already. It was uh, my phone Newman. I really badly wanted to do Christmas Fiasco Viridian. Does Sonic Freeriders have a small soundtrack or something? Huh. Huh. Pause that for later. Double add ups, V801, V101. So I could wield my uh, Slicer more often. I guess I am guilty of not using Slicer when I should. Oh, my vice is on the other character. Interesting, interesting. So yeah, we'll do a few more episode fours, then maybe we'll mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Episode 4 is just too good. So there's not too much left of the soundtrack, so I've loaded up the next soundtrack. Like we all have like the little puff balls. <laughs> Does amuse me. Although I'm definitely the imposter. <laughs> Elkleave is leading the Pew Pew Laser Brigade. He's living the true episode 4 spirit. Alright, so I'm gonna Rafoe until the Rappies are done, then it's back to Gafoe land. Yeah, 
<laughs> the lazy spirit. Let's make sure everybody talks to the console. We should be good. There we go. Okay. Rafoe clock time. Boom. Okay. I'm gonna try not to hit them with Gafoe. Oh. Uh, I kept some of them. That could have been worse. Alright, now it's back to Gafoe land. Another power material. Nice. Oh, Babudas. Oh, I meant to chat. Since the forecast did change, what is the forecast now? Humans. Oh, well, okay. Well, at least I'm adding a Valentine bonus, I guess. The sad, sad Valentine's week bonus. Only humans share. by Buddhas. Well, anyway, what I was saying for the uh, episode 4 boss, if it's the normal boss, St. Million, uh, it'll be fire on the spinners, and then I think chain lightning on the first cores, but when it goes into the side cavern and beyond, it's ice. Is what I was going to say before. Uh, some people have really good St. Million drops, like potentially Green ID with Galatine, which is why I was saying we're getting trolled. <laughs> I actually just wanted the Galatine, to be honest. Nice level up. And that uh, sadly did not happen. But oh well, Centurion's fine. Put a little Gafoe out to uh, slow up the Astarks. I gotta be careful not to hit them frame one, because I found out that that uh, does not work well in multiplayer the other day. Anyway, a little safety Gafoe out here. Uh, should probably slice her. Ooh, I don't land slicer without... A little bit of red ring, note to self. I need to bring that later. Oh well. That's what happens when you don't play the character for a long time. Because it is 25 hit, it's not terrible, but... Not good enough. Anyway, back to Kafoe. This should slow them down. If I see them stunned, I'm gonna Rebarda. Nice. Diva. Yeah, the only super scary things I think for Sean will probably be uh, Dwarfons. Dwarfons are the the murder the murder essences of uh, new players. Because if you don't have at least what is it 680 slash 720 on multi or something like that, uh, you just die. <laughs> just... So we'll try to revive you when that happens. Welcome, Promethean. You brought some scapes. Nice, nice. Diz and Jester are trying to level, indeed. I think we'll go for at least another hour or so. We'll potentially switch to a different style of run now that we've leveled some players a bit. I have been runneth over. I'm gonna revive you to save you escape doll.
Wait for the team a little bit. I'm sure Promethean, Promethean definitely relates with the you're going for Galatine and it gives you Kondryu. <laughs> oh, you can provide some cookies. Oh, very kind of you, Promethean. <laughs> literally, literally got Kondryu'd. <laughs> I was like, where were you any of the times I was doing orange ID or even technically red ID? Like, come on, seriously? Getting wrecked. Yeah, we could do a couple cookies if you're offering Promethean. Since uh, Sean just got his uh, level 30-ish text today. We uh, assisted with uh, giving him text. And uh, Clef was with us earlier. We got Clef's character from 74 to 87, I think. So that was pretty good. Ooh, photon drop. So if you're willing to to spare some Promethean, let me know. Yeah, and with God Technique, that'll push you the rest of the way. Yeah, I think I have like literally one or two cookies left, but I'm saving them for something specific. But if you have something to offer Promethean, let me know. Ooh, nice level up. Yeah, I was also thinking of saving them for when I did another one. Oh, that's RIP Music Chat. Big F in the chat for the soundtrack, it just died. How many cookies am I willing to do tonight? Um, If you want to just give me an even number of 10, that should be fine. Because that's like, what? An hour and a half-ish? I think that's fine. I'm going to revive the soundtrack in a moment, and we're going to move on to the next one. Another black hound. Yeah, that is gonna be some super XP. So Promethean is offering what you will consider the golden ticket of XP. You will not see XP like this anywhere else. It is absurd. So we're averaging even with a lower level party. Well, of course we have help even myself, but you know, mixed mix party level, still over 200 XP a second. Cookies, different universe. XP, it's not even comparable, it's broken. I think I'll just stick to green ID for that, but that's probably gonna level this character to 200. <laughs> that's really sad, he might actually hit 200 while doing this. Rip. Oh well. Cookie XP is on its own little planet. Depending on how leveled the party gets, I could even do Anguish. But we'll start off with no anguish, see how the team handles it. Because anguish one cookie is dumb. Oh, we had like the shortcut in the long tuck. Promethean can take my spot in the run. Ooh, you hear that, Promethean? I'm interested in getting some cookie runs. Okay. There we go. They mostly didn't get to do anything, so that's fine. Walk forward, make sure the Rappies take damage. Oh, they still ran. Promethean says, now I have a contractor to fix my boiler. No problem. Just a supplier slash dealer. <laughs> hey kids, wanna get a fix? Wanna get a fix, cookies? <laughs> first, first taste is free. <laughs> and it's gonna cost you. to get those carb cravings. Okay, do a little wiggle dance. Nice. Thank you, wiggle dance. Cheese the gateway drug, you heard it, yeah. For sure. There we go. I love walking forward into the middle of the room just for that debuff. It's so crucial to do that for new players. Cookie Clicker told us that. Oh no. 
All right, chat, get ready to spam some Gapoe with me. Spam, spam, spam. Believe in Hellcleave. We need these Marissas, Dad. I don't want to see them do anything. There we go. That should be good enough. Nice level. Why do you think the Girl Scouts are so successful? There we go. We're uncovering the hard truths in PSO right now. We're discovering the cookie conspiracy. Okay, more of Gapoe's fam. I will generally try to gel in if I see him with newer players whenever I can, just to slip it in. So if I'm in the middle of the room, I just happen to be in the right spot for it. So don't worry about Glide Divine, mostly in this room. If you have good positioning, you don't need it. Like, pretty much the entire quest. And if you're the first in the room, you get to choose the position. So. Kind of like I'm just going to keep Gafoeing here to murder the Rappies. Like, I mean, that was just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to use a couple of Razans here and then debuffs. Unlock them a little bit, I think. See, it's definitely going to be the oops all cookie. And with... I'm curious that the Valentine rare stacks with it. I kind of doubt it does, but it, it, it's cookies. Cookies are OP. At least we could say we did take advantage of the rare raid a little bit today. <clears throat> we got the Centurion out of it, technically. Oops, I'm not far enough forward. Bad player. Uh, is this character set up properly for techniques? No. Yes? Sort of. I don't know what these other buttons are. Uh, okay. I mean, I... I'm gonna have to sit there and really think about fixing my tech list so that way it's consistent across the forces. So if all you're doing is spamming Gafoe, for example, it's better to do it in the tech menu if you're not getting hit because you get frame-perfect Gafoe's. But one thing that, because I play so many characters, their menu is not consistent. So Rafoe is accurate, for example. Gazond is accurate. Rabard is accurate, but nothing else is. So anyway, I'm going to save my controller some health by uh, switching back into Gafoe. I was thinking about it, like, if I wanted to optimize the run a little. And since I'm pretty much heavy DPS here, I probably should care. Just slightly. Get, it, get out of the old habits. Because I, I don't technique cast when I'm a ranger, for example. I just uh, shortcut. Or forces, I should. So this is the power of the menu, Razond. Very good. A 40 hit arms with native and machine and no special. Big up in the chat for that arms. Could have been, it could have been something. It could have been a contender. Mm. Disappointing. Anyway, back to Gafoe O'Claw. Uh, I could assist with this a little bit. Back to Gafoe, re deband everybody. Yeah, Gafoe gives you like five eternities to select in the technique menu. So this is probably one of the few ones you should probably learn to do it this way. Um, Rifoli is definitely worth it for stun locks. Razan, Rivarda, Gazond are probably the others I'd recommend. But basically what that'll do is it'll give you way higher DPS per second. So if you're looking to be serious about a force, don't do my technique menu thing yet. <laughs> I'm still, it's very much work in progress. I think Gazond is exactly where it needs to be and Rafoe is. Everything else is just very experimental. Join your room, sure thing. We have about probably like five minutes. Shouldn't be too, too long. And goodbye.
Ha! Huh, I did my own Slicer Fanatic accuracy bug. I did it. I am the hero. Goodbye, Gratabulu. A Gracia drop for me. Okay. Mm. I'll check to see. It might be slightly better defense for my uh, Hue cast or something. Uh, so with the assumption that it's going to be fire first, I'm going to equip the fire staff and Rafoe. And I'm going to try fluid buff the team. I'm going to walk slightly at an angle to split from the group. The group can walk forward or slightly to the left. So spinners are weak to fire. Pray. Pray you have mag invincibility. <laughs> oh no. I'm the only one with mag invincibility. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, I swear, if we could double conjure you, I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to get so tilted, chat. I would have been like, where were you? <laughs> where were you all week last week? <laughs> oh man, big fail. Anyway, let's try to avoid the spinners. I only see a yellow, so I'm not gonna attack it. Oh, there's one. Okay, I'm helping help lead with it. Galatina incoming, hopefully. I would like one at some point. So let's use some chain lightning here. And then if you have good ice staves, normally you switch to ice. I recommend Diz and Sean stay behind in the main room at approximately, if you think of the room as a clock, about five, somewhere between five and four o'clock and towards the end of the room. So I'll show you where to stand if you haven't seen it before. It's like over here-ish. I guess it's more like, a little more like 3.30 or four o'clock. So just stand somewhere down here. You should be good. I'm gonna catch up to Hellcleave. I'm gonna switch over to Ice Staff and Robarda. If I had Mag Blast, I would actually use Dolphin here. But sadly, since I'm a level 198 force with actual defense, uh, I'm not gonna build meter. Wow, double tornado. Interesting. Bold choice from Saint Million. I'm gonna try to body block the missiles for Hellcleave. I'm lined it up right, I might be able to do it. It kind of worked. I'm sadly gonna get spinnered, but it was working okay until then. So just be careful, whenever spinners appear, they appear for the other players. So they get to play their own little dodging minigame. Again, I'm trying to body block for Hellcleave, but the spinners are trolling. The spinners are absolutely trolling. We want to see missiles. We do not want to see spinners. Okay. It's all up to the other team now. Way, way lace to it with Barda. Barda, Barda, Barda. Oops, rip. Oh, I got lasered. There we go. And rip boss. <laughs> So we're averaging about 220 XP a second, 251,000 total XP. Let's witness post bombs. Oh, there you go. Sean got the wiggle. Nice. Yeah, if Sean walks around, he can make the background wiggle if he got knocked over. Yeah, there we go. Exploiting the game. There's the wiggle. Try mate, rip. No Galatine for me. So almost 280,000 experience, but more importantly, 326,000 total experience. So again, this quest is pretty good with XP. Oh, Rafali 29, that's good for new players. Like that, actually. Um, nothing else too exciting, though, sadly. So I'm gonna go collect the cookies. And the best part about this quest, you even get tickets. What a quest. What an absolute quest. So broken. Well, I guess this might be the stream where he hits 200. It's gonna shrug. I mean, if I do like five cookie quests like this, he will hit it. Uh, put these away. So what I would recommend for the upcoming quest, if you have anything that buffs Skafoe damage, Fire Scepter, bring it. Um, you're not gonna be finding any bosses. There's no Dwarfons to worry about. Uh, if you have a decent level Grants, you'll need it potentially for Gertabulu. And when in doubt, just always Skafoe it out. 
Okay, so let's come to Promethean. But sadly, no Galatine. So we have 32 beats left on the clock for XP. Let's go find Promethean. <laughs> I found Promethean. Oh, I canceled the uh, thing. Alright, so let's verify or do whatever. Confirm. Confirm. Thank you so much. So it is now cookie time, sponsored by Promethean. Thank you, Promethean. For those that haven't seen a cookie quest, there's a couple quests you could play for uh, really good rares. For example, uh, some people do surface episode four for excalibur or they'll do uh certain things in episode two because it's one of the few times you could get a good grouping of enemies or if you just want to break the game we could do some green id so what we're gonna do i'm gonna do several on this green id i might switch to pink id so that way we could get limiter chances because i think the team was looking for limiter so we'll do some mix of v101 and limiter and i feel like that's pretty fair i feel like that's pretty fair so we'll do a few greens first tower cookie oh yeah we did we gotta do some tower cookies at some point that's a good that's a good point luke Sadly, when I did the tower cookies, no rares. <laughs> nothing, nothing but air. All whips. Oops, oops, all whips. Well, Sean was 94. Let's remember what level Sean was, because he'll be he'll be the baseline for how absurd the XP is. So I'm gonna pick the bottom of the two quests. Yeah, sadly doesn't look like the the, the bonus is stacked properly. That's fine. I mean, Valentine's event cookie would be utterly broken if they let that go through. <laughs> it won't be like back in 2016 when it did stack. <laughs> it was stupid 400% XP stuff before Anguish. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gufoe Merge on. Fire Scepter on. Okay, we're good. So just go roughly in the middle of the room and spam Gufoe. Oh, you already hit 95? That's a good sign. So we're getting about a thousand XP a kill right now. So just enjoy the enjoy the. Oh, we're at over 390 XP a second. Mm -hmm. There's the there's a Gerdabulu. Hello, Gerdabulu. Uh, I guess I should slicer you. There we go. I d I did what I was supposed to do. So when in doubt, we'll debuff so the team doesn't die, and we'll go right back to Gavoi spam. This. this character is 100% gonna level before this quest ends. It's funny because he's basically yellow statted on everything already. I don't think I really earn anything from him doing that. Because he's using double add up just from the standpoint of I just don't want to spend PP. Nice level up. Congratulations, Diz, on 100. Oof. Almost, almost one above 500. Oh, 551 XP a second. Just casual. Oh, look at that XP chat. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Glorious XP. So yeah, we'll do a mix of, I think, green and pink. His pink limiter 
would be really nice, but I doubt we'll get limiter. I mean, we've had it happen before, but I doubt I specifically will get limiter. Let me let me correct that statement. <laughs> You means get to keep good props. I'll click that tandem over to me. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's like, wait a minute. Get out of here, silly Gorons. Get Grants. You're so close to death. Anyway, back to Kafoe spam. Oh, he said jokes on him. I don't get drops aside PDs. Oof. Oof. I'm so sorry, Hellcleave. Nice level up again from Diz. So we're getting 620 XP a second. So if you were wondering the one of the best ways to level in the game, you're witnessing it. Uncontestable. Nothing comes remotely close to this XP, unless it's a special event. And even then. Oh, I leveled. Nice. Uh, that should be fun. Nice level up again. So from 94 to 97. Left notes and details for the A10 run. Yeah, I was curious, like, in terms of XP per second. So if you're witnessing Clef, uh, we're getting a lot at <laughs> the moment. Uh, 630-ish XP a second. This quest is broken, Clef. Just want you to know. If you, if you want to know why I grind Halloween, it's for this. Halloween is the event I... Other than anniversary event is one of the ones where I'm like, don't you dare miss it. <laughs> don't you dare miss it. It's so good. All the end of the year events are insane. Christmas event is okay. Oh, Photon Crystal, nice. But ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, for sure. So at some point, Clef, I will owe you a cookie run. So you can experience the joy of the Halloween quest. They have all these little special uh, quests per area. So technically, you just kind of pick an area and go, I want to do that one. We'll go, okay. That poor Gerdabu got demoned before I could even do anything. They're leveling so fast, I know. <laughs> Prometheans, like, they're growing up so fast. Just yesterday, they were level 80. <laughs> oh, not 98, there we go. Fair, fair levels. Wish I had this XP per hour going to 80. That's the power of cookies. Cookies let you do whatever you want. Cookies are like, hmm. I ran out of TP. Awkward. You still have over 60? That is a lot for me at the end. I'll have to do some tower runs or something with them in the future. Rather than just raw XP runs. Maybe we'll see the glory. We tried going for the glory that was Psycho 1, but game game went teehee. Fool. <laughs> Denied. Level 99, nice. Enjoy that extra MST HP combo. Oh, we're getting near the end, I believe. Isn't it like five foreign detonators into double Gertaboo in the middle? I think it is. Yeah. Wow, I went to go do the <laughs> I went to do the glitch. The demons was too fast. Dwarf health leave. Anyway, enjoy picking up some items. Sell what you want. I see some tri fluids here, so I'm gonna pick up a few so I don't have to go back and shop. 
Mm, how badly do I want to pick up Mono Grinders here? Is the question I'm asking myself. Uh, yes, I could. I didn't have a mind material already? Seriously? Well, goodbye, evade material. I don't care about you. Mm. For this run, I don't need these. I'm just gonna put them back so I can hold more items. Put away this. That should be good enough. So anyway, enjoy that XP for a second. We got over 300,000 experience. The funny thing is you can use English to give you even more XP. Oh, hold on. Forgot to talk to the cookie guy. So if you talk to the guy that's right in front of the entrance, you could get money and hand in the quest for more cash if you want. I always forget. There we go. Nice little 20,000 Masetta. So we'll do at least three more green and then I'll switch to pink or something. Just to mix it up a little, what units we're potentially getting. That was so much, Sashawn. Just, we have nine more. <laughs> we're, we're gonna keep going. Stream will go until Cookie run out. <laughs> So yeah, pick up whatever tri-fluids you need. I'm gonna switch characters to get XP on the pick ID force. And then also that means limiters, slicer fanatics, B801s, etc. So we'll do some honest attempts at V101s here, and or maybe heaven strikers. Nothing to do is barely enough, says Promethean. It's either too much or nothing at all. Oh no, Promethean. Well, you're, ma you're making a lot of people happy today, Promethean. That XP is bonkers. Thank you again, Promethean. Make sure to put my double adepts away. I should be good to go. Come on, Heaven Striker. <laughs> I'm like, come on, Heaven Striker. I'm tempted to do a red ID, but I'm like, no, no, no. Let's not, let's not get that greedy. So ideally here, we will hopefully get a Heaven Striker at some point, or V101. Uh-oh, who's not here? Diz is not here, where's Diz? Uh-oh, I don't want to kill them. Where's Diz? Diz? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Back to murder. Like, you will not miss this XP. It's too good. Oh, well, power material. Interesting. I uh, will go pick that up. Trying to open a bottle, oh no. I'm experiencing the soundtrack for the first time, so I'm listening a little to the beat. I actually did like the All Star soundtrack we were listening to earlier. It was mostly fine start to finish. I was not a fan of the Rival soundtrack, it was kind of screechy. Minus the, the song Tension from the other day. Did not like that style of music. Hello, Potondra. Congratulations, level 100. So much Kofoe damage. 
And every level just adding a little more damage to their fireballs. I'm sorry, that was giving 2000 XP a kill. Disgusting. Hmm. I think when I switch over to Pink ID, they might have enough raw HP to survive Anguish 1, maybe? I'm not gonna hop to it right away. But I'm thinking about it, because that's even more XP. So for those that aren't aware, you can make this give more XP than it's supposed to. So if you if you want to go absolutely insane, you could go pretty high anguish. I would not recommend a super high anguish though. But normally if we have a group of really well-armed people, anguish 2 loses very little time. If you have enough people with like slicers or fanatic, which drop if you're playing pick ID anyway, uh, it's fine. Anguish 1 is a pretty easy insert. I'm more worried about Sean's HP than anything. I think Diz might be okay, but we're gonna get safety levels. It's like one of the few times where defense actually matters, and if you don't have defense, you just die. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not gonna go into it quite yet. We're gonna warm up a little into it. So we'll do at least... Let's see, this is one, two... I'll do at least two more in green, and then I'll switch to pink. We'll do like a 4 6 split, I think. And by then, I think the team will be okay levels. Because, you know, they're leveling out of their minds right now. You have four Dragon HPs in the bank. Oh, we gotta get you some uh, Heavenlies. Heavenlies give uh, 100 per unit, and they're super strong. Which, funny enough, if you play Pink ID. <laughs> Although, we're not playing Pink ID Surface, sadly, so no, no uh, Dwarf on Heavenly HPs. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I think right now we need to get you to closer to, like, one... We'll say, like, 112-ish. Maybe we'll try it then. Just so you have, like, a minimum amount of HP and defense to maybe survive a hit. Flame Garment, interesting. Technically, there's also a heightened chance of rare enemy, if Chad has not seen the cookie quest before. Uh, but I don't usually do the runs based off a rare enemy. Unless it's unless it's Lily, then you just believe. And then you get cruelly denied. Such as the life of a Lily player. Probably be 109, 111 by the end of fourth cookie. I was thinking about the same thing. So when I get down to time six on this, it should be good. And even then, that's going to end up buffing Hellcleave as well. <laughs> nice. Hellcleave getting ever closer to Red Ring territory. Nice. I already saw the Slicer. No reason to do anything other than Gafoe there, slash Grands. Slow them down with some uh, Gafoe. Yeah, with Marissa's, I don't even bother freezing them. Just Gafoe all day long. One spell, one love, one life. <laughs> I'm living the Gafoe life right now. It's like, what spells did you learn in your journey here? All of them. Which ones you use? Gafoe. 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 <laughs> it's like, uh, maybe Jalen if I panic and I see Goron Detonator. That's about it. Like, as long as I'm mostly on point with Jalen, it's not too bad, actually. Because then it's like, if you get attacked in Anguish 1, it's like getting attacked if somebody didn't gel in. It's, it's like the rough equivalency. So once they have enough HP to survive, like, a Goron Detonator crit normally, then they're probably able to handle Anguish, for example. Nice levels. We'll freeze here. Nice try, Marissa's. You're on our world now. And plus them having an extra 7 or 8 damage of Fireball will help. Makes <laughs> a lot more HP. Oh, we're almost in the final wave. The pen ultimate wave. Let's heal so I don't die. Move out of the way. This time it's worth slicering, I think. Nice. Oh, I shame killed him with Razond. Oh, that was shameful. <laughs> Slicer into Razan true combo. Where was that technique that just dropped? This will be this will be fun finding it, chat. Ooh, where in the room is the technique? 
No. Take a dog grinder, though. Make some money while I'm walking around. Uh, where is that D-band? General legs minus minus. Oof. Um, we'll take these. No. Did I look at like every green box but the right one? This is painful. <laughs> where is it? No. What? Is it in the middle or something? Literally the last possible green box. Big oof. Fail check. That away for now. Really don't need another escape doll, so I'll just put it in the bank for now. So I got two more cookies to go for levels for the team. Then we'll switch out of the Heaven Striker V101 club into uh, Pink ID. Slicer Fanatic for forces is stupid and all powerful. So if you had any kind of issue with Gerdabulu, this weapon, even at 0% hit, if you have near max character accuracy, is good enough to basically destroy everything. And it's funny. <laughs> it is very funny. So we'll do another one. Characters are gonna go below four mil to level. Nice. The Sean's HP slowly going up. It's at least above 600 now. That's a bit more promising. Beyond the horizon. Not quite. Caught myself though. Someday you'll be the tankiest force ever. Forces do get very unironically tanky. I think they're one of the most unkillable single player classes to a certain point. At least when it comes to raw ATP. And even to someone to some extent resistances as well. In particular, I call the FOMORO the uh support tank. Like, how, how is anything going to get through her Resta, Jelen, Zalor, D-Band? It's too powerful. <laughs> You're like, oh, is something fighting you? Guess, guess I'll just wear three seals, two adepts. <laughs> I guess I'll just casually add, like, 40 to all my resists. Don't mind me. Doesn't even matter what my armor is. <laughs> You have the same silliness with Bo Newman, except you get to go. Oh, am I fighting Lilies? Guess I'll do three seals plus uh, dress plate and literally become untargetable to uh, EDK. GG. Although it is kind of funny putting on things like dress plate into falls with the uh, Fomoral. Just like, oh, were you casting Grants at me? I didn't feel it. Yeah, mother. <laughs> Wear that mother guard plus. Yeah. Yeah, phone man also pretty absurd. Nice levels. Yeah, I think Diz's HP is completely fine. I'm not worried about this. But if I think I'm on point with Jelen, it might be fine. Goodbye, satellite lizards. I think we have a character that is almost explicitly cookie quest leveled. They have like 14 or like 18 hours in gameplay and they're like level 140 already. I like actually hilarious. They're living the cookie dream.
At some point I need to level a red force, but I, I don't think I'm gonna do it today. I'm not in the mood to start a new character. I thought about it at the beginning of the stream. And I'm like, uh... Maybe when it's not the event, I'll consider it. We did briefly do blue ID event, very hard mode, to try to lure out Ignition Cloak. To improve the drop rod if Del Rappi did appear, but nope. No Del Rappi when it mattered. I'm just gonna keep spamming Oops All Gafoe until everything dies. A debuff time. Actually, speaking of which, let's give our fingers a break. We saw it's just wrong quest, exactly. It's so sad. Heartbreaker. We even saw it on Ultimate, too, which was a complete troll. Like, thanks, game. Didn't need those. Six hundred thirty HP, not bad. I was wondering whether Gerdabulu wasn't taking damage, and I went, oh, right. Enemy reader, not always accurate. Revive you before you lose XP. Nice level up. Nice level up. I feel like I could just say that randomly and it'll probably always be applicable. Be like, nice level up. <laughs> oh well. Nice try, Goron Detonator, aka the only threat to the new players. Uh, yeah, this is the third cookie. I lose track too. Listen, it just becomes a sea of murder after a while. I'm like, how many times have you done the quest? My answer is yes. <laughs> They're getting close. Hello, lone Gerdabulu. Would you like to be Grants today? Oh, did that Grants? Oh no, the Grants did lands. Enemy reader just didn't catch up. Okay. I was like, really? Is that a thousand? Let me check the uh, OST see what it's doing right now. Yeah, so I'd like to continue watching. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The Foley all day long chat. Chat, I have a funny story to tell you. I was looking at uh, the video stuff the other day, catching up on comments. And I was laughing at one of the least liked videos, and I think I understand why for PSO. It's when they release the damage cancel uh, update. I did a stream on that day, and that is one of the most disliked PSO videos, and I realized why. I used the initials DMC. I wonder how many people we're, search we're searching Devil May Cry. <laughs> I suddenly came across it. I didn't think about that until just now, but it just dawned on me. Those poor people expecting Dante in PSO. Getting very disappointed. Rip the searchers. It's kind of like when I was doing that with, uh, what was it, Terranigma. I put Lost Woods in the title because I called it Knock Off Lost Woods. People did not like that. Uh, there's actually a good amount of materials here. Pick these up. I think that's all I really need. There's so many texts here, but none of them are super useful, sadly. Take the escape doll though.
Well, on the plus side, I'm getting all the grinders that I wanted earlier. Double mono grinder, somebody dropped for me. Nice. Appreciate that. I need those. Oh, I'm in the right bank. Huh. Put away two escape dolls, because I should have won two there already. Got enough room for grinders. So one more on this character. We still have enough time for even beat, but it's going to switch to odd beat, I think, after this cookie. So final green ID run for Heaven Striker V101. Let's see what happens. Get my money. I'm like, hold on, I'm using Jaya now. I actually need to care about money. Oops. Good enough. Okay. So if I had used all the cookies on him, I think I would have been down to like 1.2 mil to level. <laughs> it's kind of disgusting. Okay, game should be up. already changed earlier that's right sadly next halloween if i don't save cookies for low leveling says hell cleave the suspense probably keep them for pink limiter runs yeah want to level more foam moral mm -mm -mm. well hell cleave we're going to be doing some pinks at least after this. So we can say we tried going for Heaven Striker during the event. We got, we went for Cannon Rouge. We got Parasitic Gene Flow. Congratulations again to Tiki for that. So I technically got a red ring during the event, I think. It wasn't on stream though. We know how that goes. If it's not on stream, it doesn't count. So, unfortunately, no on-stream red rings. Um... Don't think we got a V101 on stream so far during the event. We've gotten a couple cannon rouges from other players on stream. Nothing too crazy, sadly. So this will be the last normal cookie that we do for a while. Because I now believe in the team's tankiness. Oh, we got everything to draw. Did, did somebody get V101 during our event? I didn't think so, because I didn't play many stuff on stream. Oh, I got bodied. Hmm. Possibly. I thought it was a V801, but maybe maybe it was a V101. Yeah. True, true. I guess it wasn't too bad then. As I said before, technically, I'm pretty sure I got the red ring at this very start of the event. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I remembered a couple of V801s. I don't know if it was... I didn't play with Diz, I think, during the event yet. Aside from today. But it was one of the newer players, I would agree. Which is good. We gotta get them what they need. Anyway, I think I'm in a good position. Time to spam Gifoe. Oh, if you're if you're talking about from cookie runs by themselves, oh no, we've seen everything at this point, I'm pretty sure. 
We, we saw Excalibur, we saw V801, we saw V101, for sure. Yeah, we're, we're talking any cookie runs. Oh, yeah, we've seen the ball. I even got a 25 hit. 25 hit Heaven Striker here or something. Then we were complaining because we kept getting like 30 hit drops and they weren't appearing on the banner. That was so sad. Chat did so well in the game is like, nah, let's not acknowledge the party. Rip. Oh well. Parameter done with Doom. Hopefully you had a good time in Parameter. We got six cookies to go. Hey, 650 HP, is that enough? Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Also, I need to unequip that. There we go. Don't mind me, just technique menu casting. Oh, I gotta debuff this. See, I had to think about where Razan was. I don't think that's accurate to where my normal list is. Gavoi is definitely not in the normal place. Which is fine, but... I think I was experimenting with Foley and Barda. Down there, I think. So it sounds like we're near the end of the soundtrack, given that that was a remix of the opening. Followed by another remix of the song. I do a lot of fun in Parameter. So much murder going on screen at the moment, holy. Time to grant your brains out. Goodbye, Greta Bulu. Perish. Uh oh. Character death. So, Marissa's are still insta death. It could be a problem, but I guess if they're already insta deathing now, it doesn't really make a difference. So we'll get slightly more XP and technically a better rare rate. And funny enough, because it's cookie runs, it doesn't really matter how efficient you are with them as long as you clear them. So even if it is slightly technically less XP per second, you play for the rare rates of the photon drop increase. Although with just Anguish 1, it should actually always be an XP increase. Even if it is slightly slower. Oh, soundtrack, you chose a very poor time to stop. <laughs> I'm in the middle of Gafobi spamming. Uh, check it out. After that is Sonic and All-Star Racing's Transformed. Don't think I've heard of this game, but that's fine. Oh, no, no, not extended, not extended. Oh, gosh, no. We could have been there forever. <laughs> One song could have been the whole stream. It would have been a bit intense. Anyway, we're paying attention now. Okay. So, it doesn't seem like any Heaven Strikers drop for people. I'll drop my escape dolls for now. I really don't need them. Farm plus plus. Yeah, for the longest time, that was not on the server. I wasn't sure if that was a blue burst thing or just like an Affinia server thing that they didn't have it. So I remember the GameCube. I remember getting Ogre Power. Getting excited for the plus plus. Um, I think I could just focus on the materials now. I think everything else is good.
Okay, that should be good enough. Six. Clean up her inventory a little, put away the adepts, put away the Bowie merge? Actually, did I take that or did I have a spare one? Okay, I did take it from here. Put away Slicer, put away like 400,000. Last even B. Rip. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to a different ID, which will grant stuff that is very good for casters. So potentially getting limiters and stuff like that is extraordinarily good because those turn into the adepts which makes spell casting super easy on top of that they give six doll resist so they're kind of like a universal uh anti-lily slash anti-falls thing while also granting 20 to accuracy which is crazy good so let's go ahead and switch to c bank five I didn't think about that. I was like, wait. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I think I put them in C Bank 6. Okay, hold on, let me think. Two, four, yeah, six. It should have been six. I'll briefly enter a character just to fix my C Bank. I didn't think about it. I did the math. It didn't add up. This should be my White Ranger and something else. But not the characters I'm looking for right now. Yeah. Sorry, Ruby Legs. You're at level 130 and 20 hours ish, so that's not bad, but no, 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 no. We're not looking to play you at the moment. <laughs> Are we making a face at that, that level to time ratio? Just you wait. This character, I think, is the stupidest character. I'm pretty sure this is the character that has done almost, like, 90% cookies. So, they're level... Okay, they're only le they're only 113 in 3 hours and 48 minutes. <laughs> got, they got some room to grow, you know? <laughs> Should put a little more effort in, I guess. You can't tell they were cookie quests, then. The addiction is real. Yeah, fair, fair and balanced number of hours on this character. All right, we're 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 stepping it up a notch. I think we can handle it. English mm -mm -mm. one. I'm gonna go get the stuff I need. Oh, look at that! You you still have double add up heavenly HP on? Oh, that's what I needed. Uh oh. <laughs> They have my add-ups. That explains so much. I was thinking I had two more add-ups, and I'm like, who has them? Hmm. The more you know. Well, anyway, I'm going to leave it on them for now, but what I'm going to need is that... Oh, good phone merge. How many cookies left? Uh, six exactly. I have some from before. Don't let the count fool you when I go to pull them. So we did four is green. We're going to do six more is pink. This should be good. Yeah. Should get a tech boost shield eventually? Absolutely does. 666 HP, this bodes well. Exactly. It's good luck. <laughs> so we're playing as chat's Valentine character, which is appropriate because now it is Valentine's Day and the character has been brought out. We did it, chat. I played the right character on Valentine's event. We did it. Now I do angry stomps. Yeah, this character has got a pure mind mag, basically. <laughs> Here we go. So welcome to additional experience. 
technically 1% more rare, I think. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize you dropped. No! I saw too late. Oh, I already spent the cookie. We, we gotta play it. That's really unfortunate. No, that's gonna make the game much harder. Yeah, I saw I saw the oops, and then I was like, why did he whoops? Damn. Alright, well this is gonna be interesting. Anguish with just three players. Will be interesting. I wanna dodge the guard of Ulu here if I can avoid it. I'm gonna believe in Hellcleave's demon. Nice. Thank you, Hulk Leave. Okay, I didn't die from laser, and that's all I needed to know. All I needed to know. I mean, we can maybe sack enough Gafoli for this to still not matter. And it's obviously going to get smoother the more we level. I'm definitely going to take that Panic Escape Doll at some point, though. I will 100% need it. Uh, taking that. Yeah, back to Kavoe Spam. Ooh, I was worried that Gordon Detonator was going to hit uh, Sean there. That would have been probably insta-death, to be honest with you. <laughs> Considering he got half health after Jelen, that probably would have been insta-death. <laughs> Just would have been GG. Lights out. Anyway, back to Gafoe spam. Super unfortunate. Yeah, if I'd realized like a second sooner, I would have stopped myself from using the cookie. Okay, get a little more defense here, which is going to be useful, because I need to survive crits. Case in point. Oh, I'm wiggling the stick preemptively. Don't you dare hit me, Marissa. Controller DC'd and it crashed PSO. Interesting. We're still averaging okay XP. We clear the quest, we'll begin. So you can see I'm about the same level as Sean, but I'm like decked out. That's <laughs> what the difference is. V to one heavenly HP, ultimate frame. Eventually we'll put, give ourselves a, uh, what's it called? A, uh... I don't, actually don't have an ignition cloak. Maybe a Tempest cloak or something? This is the placeholder. Technically I could give them virus armor. That would be kind of funny once they get higher level. Or smoke plate. Other garb. Nice. Go up each from max. Nice, nice. Again, I'm, every level up will matter for damage, because I'm not maxed. Neither is Sean, for sure. If I'm not maxed, Sean is not maxed. I don't believe. <laughs> like, no way. Oh, boy. Just like if I go to Bulu here, if we can avoid it. Okay. We managed to not die. 7, seven, seven HP. Nice. Yeah, so my goal is to just immediately panic Jelen, and then that should stop me from dying. Ooh, 32 HP. I'm so glad we wasted, waited another cookie. Oh, supersonic racing, a remix of it. Interesting. Everybody's supersonic racing champ. Oh, do not freeze me into the Goron Detonator, please. Thank you. Rude.
Ooh, this is... Oh, I am so happy I was in range. I wasn't sure if I was. Five relief. This is the wave I thought was going to kill us, for sure. Double Goron Detonator, Gertibulu. On to uh, not high defense Phonuman is GG, for sure. We're going to go for the Stunlock here, and then back to Gafoli. So hopefully this Gafoli will stall long enough for us to do real damage. I'm going to do... Oh, I have no items with me. Uh, okay. I apparently don't even have fluids. That'll be fun. Well, we brought Escape Doll for a reason. Guess it's one way to get your fluids back. Yeah, I'm unfortunately getting comboed by Marissa. There's not much I can do here. I'm kind of far from leveling, so I think I need to go for the Dive Fluid. It's down there. Oh, it's on the wrong menu. My bad. I got confused. Never mind. It was the weapon menu. Sulfurino, nice. I wouldn't put it past me. I'm going to put it that way. I would not have put it past me that I did not bring items on this character. Since he was just purely leveling for a while. But I'll take the dive fluids now. It's not bad to take. Uh, it's 21,000 to level, so I should level at least once before the quest ends. I accidentally used Tri-Fluid, but that's fine. At least I can reapply some buffs or whatever. Nice. Buff time. Got slightly better defense. Here, like all the stage clear songs. Where are those actual soundtrack, please? There we go. Uh, I'm gonna put it lower for Hell Cleave, and then I'm gonna go back to Gafoe Spam because we need Marissa's. I need to make sure the Marissa's take damage here, or else we're in trouble. So I think it was worth spamming the Gafoe here because they're gonna walk into all the ones that I prepped. And that should keep me basically safe. Basically. Got bonked. These Gorons I did not debuff. That's gonna be a fun game figuring out which one. Okay, there we go. Managed to get it. So unfortunately, yeah, uh, with only uh, two people here, we can't keep the Gorons off us. We don't have enough DPS. But oh well. It'll be easier next time. I really need to change what button that is. I just tried fluid it again by accident. Did not want to do that. Uh oh, the song again. It is eternal. You know what? I'll donate. <laughs> Why not? Super buff actually helps Hellcleave. See that, chat? I'm reacting. It's not pure autopilot. There we go. Level 53 Devan shift is kind of nice for Hellcleave. Enjoy the buff, Hellcleave. Oh, please die fast enough. Oh, this slightly is too slow. And okay, there we go. feel like we're about to get Goron detonated. Yeah. Unfortunate. Healing. Debuff. So lore. Oh, no. Getting bullied. This will work for now.
first five that thought this could have been your V101. Well, I will inform you that would have been literally impossible. There's no V101 on Pink Eddie. This would have been your V801 or limiter run. We're Slicer Fanatic with it. Another Sulfurino. Oh, I got bodied, but I got escaped all. I should be good. Coming back, we're good. Thank you, escaped all. I'm gonna escape all, so I have three. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah, let's make sure we do it with the full group, or else sadness will occur. I'll definitely take another escape though. any souls and I think I'm ready to move to the next area I think yeah this is good enough at least they're both 111 now yeah pretty much all right so five more cookies I don't think I need to go back for anything we'll store my inventory slightly and drop the guardian armor yeah I'm, I'm coming in with six scape dolls I should be good <laughs> See, I'm ready for anguish. <laughs> oh my god, I'm good. Alright. So five more, but this time with the full team. Should go much smoother. Your boiler's dead? Sorry to hear that from me at the end. You know, like, when that'll be fixed, potentially, slash replaced? Still working on it? Okay. So five more cookies, and then maybe we'll end the stream with an RT or something. At least now they have some HP to survive. <laughs> this is all just preparing them for the monstrosities that are higher difficulties. Might even break 700 HP, maybe. With uh, Anguish giving you another 20% XP. And XP's already high. That's decent. Again, it'll go much smoother this time. We were like just like two or three fireballs short of killing. So with a full team. I'm listening to this and I'm like, is this Star Fox? I'm like, I thought I put on Sonic. Confusion intensifies. Oh, nice to glide divine. I forgot that was also here. Man, Pink IG just really has everything here. Kind of OP. Just gonna spam some grants until this thing goes away. Rip Diz. Diz, Diz too close to Gardevoir. You gotta back up or it's gonna melee you to death. The damage is very high from these enemies. You cannot face tank them. Nice level up. Every level up is about a damage more dealt to them. Because ultimate resist is weird. I could have died from that actually. I got a little lucky.
Hulkbeef to the rescue versus the Goron Detonator. Thank you, Hulkbeef. I'll try to debuff as much as I can to help Hulkbeef. The lore should speed it up a little bit. Nice level out. Ooh, Sean surpassing Dizen level. Oh, Marissa Double A. Hello. Are you a feel season thing? We'll find out. Well, I won't find out. I'm assuming it is. <laughs> 20 hit OPLCs, interesting. Congratulations on OPLCs. What a quest. What is this song called? Now I'm curious. Allegedly Carrier Zone, but I'm like... Not worth anything, I don't think. Yeah, sadly if it doesn't have hit. I don't think people want it. But the boop 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 reminds me of kind of like the standard Star Fox Corneria beat. That's why I got confused. It's like not quite there, but you know, remixes have a lot of liberties with those stuff. I mean, I'm bobbing my head to the music. Rare Raffi. Where were you on very hard? Uh, Enemy body. Oh. So there's all the rare enemies, at least. Although I think one of them got spooked. I don't think we got the rare enemy XP, which is completely insane. I think it gives like almost 4,000, like 3.8 thousand, depending on the enemy. It's like actually crazy XP. It's like killing an entire normal room and end more. Okay, they're all debuffed. Does this character have it set up? Oh, absolutely not. He does not have his deck menu set up. Yeah, we gotta fix that at some point. Much better so far. Yeah, we just have more Gafoe out, which is really stopping the problem enemies. So that feels much better for sure. So I prefer to just use a couple of dive fluids here just to top myself off. Honestly, probably one was good enough. Because I just need enough to get through the initial burst to kill them. Yeah, I could have I could have gotten away with just one. Anyway, more damage. So if I could if I can survive anguish one, that's a good sign. How much MSC do I need? I need another 150. In order to cap. Not too bad. Definitely need to deep up the Gerda Bulu. I think that was part of the problem last time. So Cleve will deem it eventually. Yeah, there we go. And done. Okay, time to spam in the Gafoe and believe. Oh, yeah. I would not run towards the Marissas. I would let them come to you, team. Just FYI. You are not going to kill them fast enough if you run up to them. That's why I stand in the middle of the room when that happens. If chat is curious. I'm like, hell no. I'm not fighting that. 
<laughs> Let them come to me. I'm not pro I don't want to get hit. We'll take it slow. Ooh, big wave for Kafoe here. That did so much damage. Holy. Uh oh, I'm getting bullied. I feel like I've heard this song before, but I think it's because we played the... What was it? Sonic Colors version of this? Or was Sonic Mania? One of the above. Got interesting remixes in this soundtrack so far. Getting bodied. <laughs> Debuff and Zalor. Make life easier for Hellcleave. There we go. I managed to actually freeze quite a few people. Too bad it's anguish. But it worked briefly. Although I think this version of the song is also in PSO. It, it's called like Flight, right? In PSO. I don't recognize this portion of the song, but at least the violins reminded me of play from PSO. Uh, almost done. And we did briefly go over 600 XP a second. We're now getting a little over 320,000 total experience per run. Which is a lot with where we're at. Revived is. Oh, you dare kill me right before the end. There we go. Oh, like. Bad enemy. I'm just gonna get a couple dye fluids just to save my trip to the shop. Should be good enough. Ryuker time. Four more to go. So many escape dolls. What is that? Six? Nice. Oh, not nice. Forgot to talk to the guy again. Joshan's gonna play games later and he's gonna cast a single spell and just marvel at the raw damage. With all the spell upgrades and now these levels, how much more damage it is. Five more to go. Yeah, this character is MST's getting up there. And at least I know I can survive crits now. That's a reassuring feeling. So I'm very easily gonna break 700 HP at this rate. Might even, you might even catch up to where I am in like two cookies. And there we go. Oh, funky. I think the one character I had over this was over this level was 15 years ago. Oh, interesting. Doing the Diz check. Yeah, there we go. We will not leave Diz behind. There we go. Whoa. 
Look how much damage that was. Was it 600 damage? I don't even think that was a. Whoa! Wow, you could die while j with gelating the sand rappies if they crit. Holy. Sand rappies mean serious business. They definitely don't skip beak day at the gym. I'm just saying, chat. You're just gonna get absolutely destroyed by them. It's like satellite lizards. I'm like, please hit me with your set damage. <laughs> it's like the only thing I can, I can survive. Not, not the Grand Detonator crits and certainly not Rappy crits. Oh my gosh, Del Rappy crits must be disgusting, by the way. They must be just absolutely disgusting. Get some grants in here. Those drills aren't for show, you know. Welcome, Dengo. Hope you're doing well. Oops. If things go well, I don't need to use fluids to get TP. Although it is Goron Detonator. Nice. So slightly above 800 health. I think I'm out of kill range of some of the enemies now. I'm at the point I could technically take off Heavenly HP, I think. Still survive. Maybe. Oh. Bowie spam time. Believe. Believe. Hold the line. Unarmed casting is so fast. Like, I could wear a fire scepter technically, or magical piece for more damage, but I'm like, no. Faster casting. Need to make sure my Zalors are on point as well as Jelens. Not messing around with slower casts. Resta, I don't really need it, but it's nice, I guess. Ooh, instant delete. So both of them are 114. Hellcleave now 170. Congratulations, Hellcleave. Getting ever closer to the 180 mark. So just raw MST ATB combos. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> that could have been much worse. Yay, I survived. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Adams. I don't think I would have survived that without the resist from it. Did a lot of damage. Praise be to Adam, chat. Okay, that time I remember this allure. My bad for how cleave. I am gelling them pretty consistently, but the other time I just go straight into Panic of Bowie. Try to Zalore a little more. Here, like, I need to make sure. There we go. That I get them. That teleporting Goron Detonator is the problem, so the fact that I got him means we're fine. Now I could just stun lock if I time properly. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay, I believed in the chat healing me there, so I used that opportunity to Zalor. There we go. Nice level ups from the team. Not that close to leveling, so I'm gonna pop a tri fluid. But now you're basically at the point that if you wanted to just solo very hard, it should be extremely easy now. You have a lot of extra support from HP and raw damage. There is no shame in leveling it very hard. Especially early on. Oh, I mean, you saw we were averaging like, what, 180-ish XP a second? So if you get really efficient Phonumen gear, for example, just... Ooh, 
It's so good. Why struggle on quests you can barely clear when you can still get rares you want? Photon crystals, etc. So good. Hello, lone Gertabulu. Healing the hell clear. Nice demon. Okay, so I'm not gonna move. <laughs> if I am, I'm just gonna reposition over here. If they were off, we're so clear. I found Hopi. There we go. Chad held the line, did not approach the Marissas. I respect that. Now we're good. <laughs> when they get close, bad things happen. I never want to see what they do. Another three defense, five MST. Ten hit on tech souls for you now. Yeah, sadly, that thing doesn't really matter if you hit. Slicer Fanatic, though. Hmm. Oh yeah, we haven't seen Slicer yet on Pick ID. Come on, Pick ID, step it up. You could do a Pick ID, I believe in you. Ooh, way over 630 XP. I think it was like 639 briefly. That's pretty good. 647, 650 XP a second. Pretty crazy, 655 briefly. Debuff, debuff for sure. We hope we could just murder these things. Just unlocking the room is nice. Gives Hellcleave a million years to kill these enemies. Oops, <laughs> missed the stun lock. That's what I get for talking. Panic of Foe, Panic of Foe. Didn't get frozen, so could have been worse. Could have been worse. 660 XP a second briefly breached. I'm getting bullied. I managed to allure some of them. Yeah, now I got all of them. Getting bullied. And final two enemies. Much smoother of a run overall. Much smoother. So, so far, no limiters. We still have four more cookies. So those garter bulus at the end, hopefully will drop us a happy present of limiter for some players here. The Patel pipe for some reason. Just looking for the mono grinder there. Take some dye fluids. Ooh, Slicer Fanatic, congratulations. If it did low roll, you could potentially give it to uh, Sean there. I could compensate you. It's even like, as I said before, an all zero Slicer Fanatic is a busted weapon if you know how to do the accuracy glitch. Where basically before the special attack lands from the Slicer, you hit a normal. So therefore it uses the second normal's attack's accuracy on your special. And it makes you hilariously accurate. <laughs> and it is like the item to be using against Gertabulus. So it's kind of funny that in episode 4 you get everything you need to beat Gertabulus and friends. Three cookies left. So yeah, I think his damage is getting there. Rest of his stats slowly catching up. 146 attack accuracy. He's not that far off from uh, poor Phonuman. Newman. 
So yeah, we'll we'll do a time check. I definitely I hard stop for me is probably 10 o'clock because I need to get sleep. But if it's like 9 it 9 30 ish, I might do maybe not an RT, that's a bit long. Maybe we'll do a TTF to end or something. RT is like a half hour. <laughs> I'm feeling it's gonna take more than 20 minutes to get through these cookies. Yeah, I do not want to be doing midnight PSO for sure. Goodbye, subtle lizards. Ooh, power material. Gotta get that later. Midnight PSO or else? Nah. I got a uh, plan tomorrow. I actually don't have work tomorrow, surprisingly. A holiday. But uh, I have other plans. I could slip in some PSO for the group Monday. I have evening plans. It might be another like 5 o'clock to, I don't know, 7.30 or 8. It will not be as late as this one because I need to be doing other things uh, around dinner time. Well, probably one last big one, because I, I don't think I'll be back home fast enough Wednesday night to do PSO. But I think a bonus stream going solid on four hours is not bad. Rip these enemies. Well, chat, if you have any questions or things you're curious in, feel free to ask. I'm in bomb in my head to the music mode. How are we doing cookie-wise? Uh, two left. Should not use a trifluid there because I'm gonna level. And that's where the XP reader comes in handy. I can make that decision, save myself an item, stack enough, and then boom, level. I'll cleave get any drops? No. I'll cleave and I have not received anything. I think at most we received a PD. Don't think I've gotten one on this character yet. Such is the life when you play PSO. I don't expect any rares. I'm literally just doing this to level. You can have the 20 hit of feel C's I got. Oh. There you go, Promethean. Rip of feel C's. Oh, that freeze damage was insane. Promethean laughing. I should get the online and sell the 55 hit one I have. Maybe. This Pyro Goron did not want to die to the Gerda, to the Rivarda Gapoe combo. Ooh, you see that? Almost one shot chat. 717 health reduced to like 7, 7, 7 17 to just 2. There we go. Levels matter. Yay, you can survive anguish. Now it just gets easier from here. Uh, is the lore time for sure? Ooh, I got double frozen. Unfortunate. Well, I came back to life though. I got scape dolls. How did I how did I not die? How did I not die a second time? That is truly a miracle. That Gafoe put in the work. <laughs> I can't believe that stopped like four attacks from hitting me. And I did not get punished for it.
Nice level ups from the team. <laughs> Helkly pointing the 55 hit Ophiel sees to Luke. With these four satellite lizards. Yeah, I would say definitely uh, from earlier conversations, if you are going to be very serious about a force, really consider investing into Gafoe Merge, Rafoe Merge, Rafarda Merge, Three Seals. That should cover basically everything you would ever need. Um, three seals you could get on your own with 1k gambles, potentially. Uh, Rebarda merges are not really expensive, but they are extremely useful for episode 4 boss. They're okay as a support merge, like if you're playing three forces in a quest, it allows you to kind of focus on, for example, Rebarda. If you have Ice Staff, which is sometimes useful if you're fighting like Astarks or other annoying enemies, and the team's already doing like double Gafoe, for example. But, yeah, Rafoe being able to basically mow everything down, and then in rooms where enemies can stack, Gafoe is king. Speeds up a lot of the clear time. Oh, I'm getting bullied. Another rare Rappi. Oh, it ran instantly. That's unfortunate. Rip, scared by Gafoe. <laughs> I was just waiting. I don't, I don't think they cast anything. Ooh, I got comboed. Uh, that's fine. So I'm gonna make sure D band is on at all times, because if not, I think the chat just dies as well. Hmm, do I think I'm gonna level in time? No, I think I need to use two die fluids here. Should be good enough. Nice, nice. Not too far off from leveling. Rip this. I wonder what just his defense is, because he has more HP than me, but he's exploding. Boom. I guess if using not a good armor, that would explain it. <sighs> so close to not needing TP. I think I'm gonna be forced to use it again. Come on, we're so close. Yeah, there we go. Barely leveled to not need the fluid. Love to see it. Sean. Revive Sean. Mon Limiter. Mon Limiter. Got a couple chances left in the night for Limiter. It'd be really sad if I got it now and then not at all during the Christmas event. But such is life. I probably won't get it at all. That that's my expectation. If I somehow end up with Limiter, I might get excited. We'll see. <laughs> but my my expectations and hopes are zero percent. Odds of, it, odds of it dropping for me is literally zero. Put in a negative number, if possible. Also, I have way too many skip dolls. Uh, let's see. Take the materials that I can find. Take the grinder. That's all I really need from that list, though. All right, let's put away some of our escape dolls. We're going a little escape doll crazy. Yeah, like three is probably good enough on anguish. Oh, look, we have a few. We have a page worth of escape dolls. It's like I'm a real character. Ha! Huh, I didn't forget you this time get my money. It's 
So this character actually has a good flexible HP to do solo episode 4 stuff now. So I want around 780 HP to survive laser, but I can purposely also just take off my HP ups if I need to take more damage for other things. It's actually not a bad level to be at for solo play. Okay, two more cookies, and that'll wrap it up. Slicer Fanatic with hit. Or even Vito 1. Vito 1 would be amazing for Sean if it pops up. That is a like game changer. Mithian says it keeps saying I'm gonna stream PSO and do giveaways. Always end up giving stuff away to streamer friends or new players. When do you be like me and be a streamer legend? I don't know if I'm a streamer legend. I mean, my goal is, like, if people hop by, you know, just support them in the game. Even if I feel burned out at times with the game, at least then I can pass on the torch. Give them items, support techniques, etc. I'm definitely glad when it comes to, like, other portions of the community. I feel like, you know, I'll give special shoutouts to the wiki team. I feel like, in particular, 2023 was a big year of wiki improvements. It is night and day what it was compared to like 2020. So they've been really hard at work, uh, you know, adding in images, the monsters is probably the big one from two years ago. Uh, correcting a lot of the stats, fixing links. There's, I think this year, I guess their initiative are like mini guides for characters. Been seeing little guide updates every now and then. Oh, Sulfurino dropped. And I guess I'll take it. Let's <laughs> just get slapped and bullied. Yeah, where, where's this guy's free Glide Divine, by the way? Come on. Give me Glide Divine. It doesn't even have to be, like, rolled well. <laughs> It'll be all zero. Like, come on. Give me some upgrades, game. So much stack of foe. I'm seeing them live by 1 HP. That makes me so sad. Piggy asking if there's been any good drops today. Um... No? I'm gonna go with no. There were some, like, Centurion abilities. That's about, uh... That's about it though. No like, no Heaven Strikers, no Cannon Rouge, no uh... Oh, I shouldn't have Trifluted there. No Limiters. No Galatines. But we're wrapping up the cookie quests. So again, depending on how long this next one takes, I might do one more quest just to end the stream. Magua has dropped. Hold on, chat. The game changer Varus hit the floor. Feels so sad. I go to gel in them. I get bullied. It's set damage on anguish. Hopefully you're doing well, Tiggy. How are the retro game challenges going? Ripped is.
It was a long day. Sorry to hear that, Tiggy. Haven't streamed in a few days. I was gonna say to ye, be honest with me. How much of that is because Kid Chameleon is still on the list? <laughs> Goodbye, random enemies. That was certainly a game that existed. Oh you remo oh you removed it? Okay, there you go. It was the right call, Tiki. Oh, there we go! There we go. See, Tiki's asking about rares. Diz is getting casual V801. There we go. Sorry to hear your stress, though, Tiki. Hopefully, at least, you can look back on the week and smile at the parasitic gene flow. And then slaughter some monsters with it later. When you're feeling all better. Level up. Oh, I shouldn't have tried fluid. I meant to die fluid. Oh well. Player mistake. Yeah, we're just. We're actually almost done with all the Sonic Racing soundtracks, so I have to see how many other Sonic soundtracks exist. Sadly, we tried looking for some earlier, and they did not exist. So I don't know if the game is just not popular, or it just got copyrighted out of oblivion. There we go, goodbye. Ooh. Sonic GBA games and DS games are a thing. I'm sure it's on that list that I have. If I scroll long enough, I'll get there. Wait, Magua's worth 10 points? Why? <laughs> I did not realize there was a Sonic RPG. Today I've learned. I know there's quite a few Sonic games on the Game Boy. I remember there's one that had like, what's her name? Cream? Goodbye, random Marissa's. Yeah, I think I might have that one. Oop, the soundtrack paused. We're gonna briefly try to revive and resuscitate the soundtrack. Oh, we're only on song 27 of 77. This is a long soundtrack. So we do not have to worry about that tonight, at least. Oh, that freeze. Got him. Checkmate. <laughs> Thank you, Roberta. Nice. So I think most of us are at least doing 400 damage with Gafoe. So I have 175 grams of heating oil. They're saying I'm low in heating oil. Oh, so it's not broken. It was just out of oil. Oh, I got slapped out of existence. That was a brutal slapping. I'm getting I'm getting bullied and harassed. Report the Grand Detonator for bullying. To grants the one that's on the side a bit more, I think. Oh, never mind. Already dead. Oh, I thought when you said G, I thought you meant gallon or grams. <laughs> I was like, not gallons. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of gallons. Need to farm slicer fanatic later. Well, we got one more cookie, hopefully. 
What hit percentage are you running with Slicer Fanatic right now? Like 0, 25, 30? Take these. Oh, you're running a zero? Interesting. Yeah, I think I actually managed to get a decent amount of Slicers and Fanatics with it. I think you helped me with some of those. But I do have like a 45, a 35, and like two 25s or something like that. I'm pretty solid. A couple zeros I gave away. We'll have to help Hell Cleave now. Oh. I'm actually doing surprisingly well in terms of fluid. Hm. News to me. Read what Hell Cleave wrote. It's easy to farm, just never found one with hit. Oof. One more cookie run, or is it all done? One more. And I got a Soul for Reno. I want my money. Fall it full, time to deposit. Uh oh, running around with invincibility. Sounds like what happens if you just roll out with level 200 characters in PSO. <laughs> Start playing this theme. Final cookie run. Eh, I guess that uh, probably have enough time for a TTF. Oh, don't worry, Sean. If you do need money, there is the Phantasmal World 3 box runs. If you ever get really bored and you'd like to do a two minute run, collect all those armors, sell them. Cash from it is stupid. Hmm. Yeah, if you haven't seen us do it, maybe we'll do a joke run at the end. <laughs> We did one, I think, last week. It requires you to kill, like, seven enemies? And then the run's over. It's that short. Although, it's recommended you bring Megid, since you're a sorcerer. <laughs> kind of character, slash force. Nine enemies, my bad. Oh, there's a Glide Divine. There we go. I was complaining earlier. I needed one. Hey, oh, ooh, Glide Divine with hit. Ooh. Definitely not really sad that that hit. Oh, I ran out of moons. Oops. Uh, Team, you might be in trouble. Because I've been reviving you the whole time. <laughs> Just FYI. Almost every time you've died, it's been me. Because I am dead out of moon atomizers. I thought I picked some up on the floor earlier, but maybe I just... Maybe I collided with armors or something by accident. Oh well, I'll keep an eye out on the floor, I guess. At least I still have Reverser. Just moving around without D-bands scares me on Anguish. That scares me. Like, no way. I'm gonna explode without D-band. My material. Seven here, says Hellcleave. Hellcleave is green. Got it. Thank you, Hellcleave. Uh, I will take that, actually. And let's go back. I've been getting, like, nothing but escape dogs. Which is good. I need to hold some for later. Okay, debuff, debuff. Gotcha, Marissa's. Poe too good. Nice level though.
Did I listen to Sonic R? I believe so. We've been listening to the Sonic Racing games in order. And we have, I think, completed almost all of them. I think this might be the last racing game? We did like Sonic Rivals, Sonic Rivals 2, Sonic R, Sonic R, <laughs> question mark, All-Star Racing, All-Star Racing Transformed, that's what we're listening to now, Team Sonic Racing, uh, oh that's next, I'm sorry, yeah that's 2019. And that is the last racing game one. We did the Sonic Riders, Zero Gravity, and otherwise as well. Though there were two lower on the list that I think were maybe... I don't know if it was Game Gear? It looked like a handheld game. But uh, they had no OST available. If I find them, we'll listen to them, but they didn't pop up in the search result when I checked. Sonic Rush is a bop. There's so many Sonic R games. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know which is which. Uh, I think we listened to... Uh, I think Rush might have been the one that I liked. I'll check again. I put like a couple songs aside. I just have to see which Sonic game they belong to. Since I listened to literally all of them back to back. Oops, getting bullied. I think Colors was also pretty solid. I like some of the songs in there. Sonic Rush was the weirdest music for a Sonic game? Oh no. Get away from us, Gorn Detonators. Oh, look at that. See, they hit 120. There we go. See, they're basically... I mean, technically, you don't want too much health versus falls. Like, they might be the right HP to get knocked down but not killed on falls. I'm not sure. There's that There's that thin line where they might have just a minimum to not need it. Like, they go through the... They go over the lowest bar, but they don't bonk their head on the other bar. Okay, yeah, he healed the team there. That could have been really ugly. Oops, speed ugly. Rip team. Wow, that was through Jelen. Bump up the team. Reapply buffs to Hellcleave. Looks like Hellcleave got it. Give another escape doll, because why not? Promethean saying I can leave Hellcleave buffless. I don't know if I want to do that. Or Hellcleave. Hellcleave hitting 171 though. The final nine levels towards Red Ring. Ooh, nice song. Stuck with this for a reason. 20 is good enough, lol. Oh, we're Hulk Leaf. Rip all these. Hulk Leaf should have been level 169. See what Promethean means. That was so cruel. Oh, that was mean. Oh, for chat that missed it. We killed the zoo. Drop the photon drop. That's rude. That's mean. And I got PD'd again. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm finally getting PDs. We we were going really long without seeing one. Given the raw number of kills we have been getting, it was kind of weird we weren't seeing them. 
technically there's a very small boost on uh, anguish but we killed like literally several several thousand at this point and we saw APD I was like hmm between every player I'm like hmm gotta bring up that average slightly nice they hit 121 well no point in deep ending now but I will keep them as a lord Ooh, okay getting them both with a slicer that was nasty Rip no limiter. So chat, give a salute. <laughs> that was like cookie number 30 on pink ID with no uh, limiter for me. So sad. One day, chat. I'm just shaking my head. I want you to know, chat, I have not seen a limiter drop for me since... Maybe... Unless I had one literally once last year, I have not seen one since 2021. I'm trying to think very desperately if I managed to get one eventually. I don't feel like I did. Because I remember doing Christmas event and just nothing happened. That entire Christmas fiasco. Because I remember complaining about 2022 where I did Christmas fiasco pink ID. Uh, before I swapped some of the uh, IDs around. What is the song called for Hellcleaves Benefit? Adler Adder's Lair, Sonic and All-Star Racing, indeed. That sounds very Golden Axe. Good call. I have not really played Golden Axe, to be honest with you. It's one of those games, like, I definitely own it. I don't think I played it very much, if at all. I think when I played those kinds of games, I ended up playing Gauntlet. Actually, does this character have their own Glide Divine yet? Let's find out. They actually don't. That is hilarious. That took a that took a lot of runs to get a single Glide Divine, I'm not gonna lie. Short games, yeah. Rip all the cookies. So kind of a kind of a sad haul to be honest. But we got there eventually. Put away the Gafoe merge. Technically this character always had the double add-ups. Do I want to take them off? Really? I guess he could just keep them. So we're not quite done. We're gonna do one more. Uh, the question is, what character should do the run? Hmm. I just hear Burning Rangers go. Yes, I could do... I'm definitely done with episode 4. I was thinking about boss rush and I'm like, nah. It, it should be a TTF. I think if I do TTF... Sure thing is. So we have a free slot. I'm thinking a TTF. I could bring in green ID. I didn't level my uh, Hue New World as much as I wanted to, but I don't really feel up to a whole RT. I might do that next time. You've got red ID. Oh. Well, actually, yeah, if you got red ID still, and you're willing to host the game, if you host a uh, ultimate TTF, I'm gonna join in. I'd like to get more experience on Azure. That way she could get closer to Red Ring. She did level today, so technically, one of my mini goals was there. I didn't play my Hugh Seal, but we did play a bunch of alt characters, so I'm gonna still count that. She should, she should still have Jaya and Dark Flow. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. So, because it has an okay amount of hit, I guess I will just spend random grinders on it. Ideally, I'll find a better one. But we gotta have a placeholder for now. I was gonna say, I never tried grinders of Dark Blue, okay. Uh, I don't think any of these can upgrade. Yeah, I think that's probably fine then. Okay, let's so put away the mono grinders. So, somebody would like to hop in for the last TTO, run of the night. By all means. Ah, uh, she is using the Sami Bracer. Okay. I mean, it gives a good resist at ATP, so that's always nice. Yeah, she's using Blue Doshi Violet Nimidao, so I don't need to be 101 on her. So that frees me up for a Smart Link, Heavenly Power, Centurion Ability, Adept combo. If she levels a little more, I can get rid of Adept. I can focus purely on Heavenly Power. The Centurion lets me cap ATA, as is, I think. Huh. Doesn't look like anybody else is joining. So what I'm gonna do... Yeah, I think we can get started. I'm just gonna switch to... Probably Berserk Mech Gun. Nah, we'll do Vice. So go ahead, Sean. Kick us off. We'll uh, do what we can. Love the music as we're just marching towards the next fight. That works. Oh, you know what I forgot to get? I'm not gonna go back for it though. We were talking about that a moment ago. Disco Brave Man. It's fun. Not like a mandatory item at least. Yeah, just a quick TTF run to end. I was thinking about RT. If we'd stopped at 9, I would have RT'd. Do the teleplay for Day Daylo Ray. I don't even know if she has a disco on her. I would have to check. But yeah, I could stay behind and do it. Uh, That should be good now. Welcome, Gren and I. Oh, this is like... What is it, Galaga or something? It's the song that takes forever in PSO to launch, and I always think it's broken. <laughs> like, legitimately. It's like... I... I don't know why that version of the song has like almost 20 seconds of dead time. I'm contemplating of just editing it out of the official track that's in Affinia. So that we can actually hear the damn song before I leave a room. I'm walking away. Slap. <laughs> I love how dumb the, the special effect is. Just blind everybody, it's fine. Uh, I don't think it really matters what I equip. Uh, I really want to last one this just in case.
Uh, I'm gonna let the team go forward. I definitely do not want to be the one that enters that room. Let's get some free kills while we wait. Free kills. I technically slowed the rundown by like maybe a second, but I got XP. That's all I care about. <laughs> Rest of the team can go on. I got the room. Maybe something like maybe Ryuk or here. Since I don't have a uh, sniper range weapon on this character. Uh, let's see if I got a disc on me. I got a charge disc. Uh, I don't have a disc of Brave Man, though. Um, I'll try it. Oops. Why was there a telepipe there? I got baited. Uh, Jaya time. Oh, I gotta actually care about my HP now? That sucks. I still dodged it. Oh, huh, okay. No, well, we're not gonna question it. Move over slightly. Oh, just what FYI, Sean, future reference. Uh, we have so much ATP. As long as you Zalore the bosses, we're good. You can't Zalore, unfortunately, the robot boss. But we do so much damage. It's kind of unfair how far behind the force falls in terms of DPS. Yeah, we're I, like, I'm literally doing like almost 6k a swing across the different parts. It's kind of silly. I think what we'll end up doing is, because we don't have like a cast, we'll probably lean on you debuffing, uh, what's it called, the Sinos. If we had a cast, it would just be freeze, kill, laugh. No worries, we'll just, I just wanted to point it out. <sighs> Got hit. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for the team. I'm not going in alone. Screw that. Okay. Three extra kills, because why not? Oh, team waited for me? Oh, I thought you guys were starting it. I didn't want to go in because the team wasn't there. Oh, yeah, could you uh, cast a couple Gafoes? Yeah, yeah we, we can punish Sinnohs as they land, and then just make sure to just debuff if you can. I'll do like a safety debuff, so I don't explode. But we'll need you to gel in for sure. There we go. Nice and simple. Yeah, these enemies kind of have the episode 4 issues where they don't have invulnerability. So if you stack a lot of Gafoes, or you're playing with a lot of Force friends, you can basically annihilate these guys instantly. So for single player play, you might not even need to debuff, just if always stacking is good enough. So you can see they're landing at like a third of their health. It's pretty useful for us to combo kill. But once we start getting like four plus people, it matters a little less. Shouldn't even do them on red, that's also true. You don't really need Kasami Bracers. They're nice, but they're kind of whatever. All right, let's... All right, so I want you to run with us. Run with us. Don't stop. No, no, don't. Oh, you might be in trouble. Uh, pray. Pray you can get by. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, telepipe out if you have to. We're going to believe in Hellcleave here. Oh, yeah, you get knocked down. That's good. <laughs> Standing up and getting hit by those. Terrible. So if we just ignore them and just go immediately at the same time into the room, we can all get past the Barans. Future reference. 
Luke's saying some people like Sergei Rugal and Japanese player would go really high on an auction like that. Interesting. Uh, so I'm going to leave the stun lock to help leave. So we're going to choose not to do anything on this first phase. Uh, only if we see turrets pop up will we do anything. Due to the weird damage mechanic of this boss. You'll see players hold like things like an Excalibur or like a Galatine to boost ATP. So this is the only thing that really matters for the boss. So we'll just wait. Try to cure the team. There we go. Uh, I'd like to drain my HP a little. Although, I guess I could use Diska. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, whatever. So what Hellcleave is doing is just normal button spamming with Spread Needle. There we go. And since it's checking ATP when it's able to hit behind the monitor, it destroys the boss very quickly. It's weird that force techs also do that. It's very counterintuitive. I don't think they really thought that through, to be honest. I would not be surprised if that was a bug. Oh, why did it make me face to the left? That was weird. Hmm. I also don't have enough accuracy to land my hit, even with 50 special. So that sucks. Uh, how about with Dark Flow? What's it like? Oh, I can't tell already dead. Unfortunate. Oh, well. So yeah, with Red Ring, I would have hit that consistently. But without it, I don't hit it consistently. Uh, We're basically just going to hide to the side. We basically just don't want to do anything. We want to get to the door as quickly as possible. I'll help a little bit with the Darkbringer. Uh, typically, forces will go this way, so I'm going to show you the force route. So you kind of bait the first guy to move forward, and then you just walk alongside them. You don't have to ever attack them to get by them. But if you get stuck, I'll just help you. And then... We'll do the normal strats. So fortunately, as a force, you're able to, like, resound the boxes. Honestly, for me, that's the highest priority. If you, if you open those boxes, I'm going to be really happy. Once they get popped, we'll just move on. Now, if we weren't playing green red ID, you would actually potentially telepipe there and have other people help you. Uh, but we're fine. We're, we're, we're greedy. We're going for one last psycho wand attempt. The greed is real. So who knows? Maybe this one sorcerer will be what you need to get the ultimate force item. Usually not, though. Heal the group, run away. So... I guess I'll walk through expectations for falls. So for the spinners, if you do... Uh, funny enough, not unarmed casting, but if you hold something and cast, it's usually better. Only because the unarmed stance, you move really far apart with your legs which weirdly gets you hit very often. It's not that it's like worse for damage. It's you're probably gonna die unless you're really comfortable with the positioning. So Gafoe on those, the second phase, Zulor, third phase Zulor, fourth phase Zulor. And then when you're able to, for example, you'll use fire on the spinners or you'll try to do a little bit of damage here and there based off of the weaknesses. This is where like simple texts are potentially really good. Uh, for the boss itself, so Funu World times to shine a little bit here. Uh, in particular, when we're doing the... I like to glide within the arena phase. Having Foey assigned to a button or easy access is super important. It's probably one of the only times you're going to go like, Oh, damn, I really need this simple tech. So if you don't have it, take some time to set it on something for later. Because when the boss goes all rainbow glow, Foley by far does the most damage. Luke reminding everybody that if you did have a Heaven Striker, uh, that because of the fact that they have basically no resists, they still die to one hit to the Heaven Striker. 
So if you have something like the Heaven Punisher slash Heaven Striker combo, uh, oops, the same. Player bad. Alright, so make sure to debuff the boss. Debuffing is super, super important. We're gonna be doing basically all the damage. I cure myself. There we go. Easy kill. Yeah, this phase, essentially, if you can run forward immediately Zalor, then you can just fully spam the entire rest of the time. More or less. And it will be the correct decision for your character. So I'm gonna move forward. There we go. Good debuffs. I got slapped. I got slapped twice? Come on. Un unfair. That messed me up. It's very rare I get hit twice by the boss. I mean, on the plus side, so this is where you group potentially- oh! That is unfortunate, Hell Cleave died there, that messed up the cycle. Um, do I have escape doll? I do, you could kill me. <sighs> Another short cycle, that is really unlucky. Uh, I gotta be really careful here, I could die from that. No, Hell Cleave! No! Not the short cycle! I don't want to get short cycle, no short cycle. There we go. Um, you're probably gonna die. Oh, spared by Hellcleave. I'm gonna dodge me, get go back towards you. Okay, I'm gonna revive, and then we should be good. some foes that have in frustration. I keep forgetting my foes on a different button with this character. I should probably make that more in sync with the other characters, but GG. <laughs> so I'm pointing like, look, I killed that boss. That was me. <laughs> I'll cleave looking like, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> nice. So we'll clear that up. And, uh, yeah, that'll end the stream, I think. If we've been doing RT, we would have been there for, like, five years. <laughs> so, I guess I should put Dark Flow away. I do want to play with the Huka Seal a bit more at some point. But we'll see what tomorrow has in store, I suppose. she out of skip dolls? Oh, damn, she is. So I like the idea of the charge disc, uh, doesn't work. I need more accuracy. At least if I want to hit the final special. Put these away for now. She can keep Giant, Gunnier. She has more than one Gear Assault. I can put one away. Away the dark flow. The way these. All these songs to play at some point when I feel like turning on PSO music. Photon well, drop count is recovering at least. I'm going to assume JSRF is Jet Set Radio Future or something? I've never played Jet Set Radio. <laughs> Been so long since I did a full TTF run on Ultima is Force. I don't know if I did it with the other people. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, forces have a simple roll. Oh, Gunnir, no special 50 hit. Come on. Where's your charge, Gunnir? That would have been nice. 5% A beast. 
That would have been going towards the worm boss chat. That would have been so good. I'm so sad. So close to being useful. Yeah, a lot of it comes down to definitely learning how to dodge Falls' spells on the middle phases. So, like, you'll see a lot of people walk towards the boss. When the boss plants itself getting ready to do a spell, you'll see people go to the sides because it'll only aim where you were basically as it was landing. It's not going to correct itself over time. So, if you do that and constantly go back to the middle of the arena after it does the spell attack, it gives you a lot more room to dodge. So that makes it more doable. Also for the lasers from above, if you're really far away, holding forward will dodge it. If you're too close, holding backwards will generally dodge it. A riskier one is to kind of go diagonal right if you don't have enough room forward but you want to still stay near it. There's some patterns it will dodge, some it will not. But it, it will dodge most of them if you do that. I hold it at like somewhere between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock on like a controller position. And that's enough to get through and still leave me close to the boss. I've been preferring straightforward back, but finding holding upright for me has worked really, really consistently. Like way more than it should. <laughs> and it's been nice. Because sometimes you are just really, really close to the boss and you don't want to hold backwards to go... You don't want to go, like, midway back to the arena to dodge. Like, that doesn't make any sense. So. Put away the lava cannon. Yeah, because the thing is, some people do it too early. Because I think people don't understand. So before the boss even sits, people will start going to the left or to the right. And then that makes it no longer safe. Because then it'll target that because that's where you were originally. So I'll see that with some people because they don't fully understand the mechanic. So that's why I say it. So if you already know that, that's great. That's a step in the right direction. But essentially, you can get a flawless on that boss. Minus the final phase, you need to have at least Photon Blast to get through the first melee swing. Because that is guaranteed. I don't think you could dodge it doing anything else. Unless you have some crazy... Frame one rest of nonsense to technically negate damage or something. Yeah, that final phase. Un sadly, it's like Fall sense of getting quite a bit of resistances in between. Like, you'll see a lot of grant spamming for like Fomoral, for example, especially in single player, but then you go to play multiplayer and it's like, oops, all foey. Some of the resistances between enemies are kind of weird between single player and ultimate. So definitely if you don't have an enemy reader, I would highly recommend you check it out. Uh, my favorite example is the Chaos Bringer slash the Deathbringer that's in Ruins Ultimate, uh, aka Centaur, is basically unkillable to forces. That thing gains, I think, roughly 60% ice resist between difficulties, or not difficulties, between single and multiplayer mode. It's pretty unfair. Uh, you're basically never going to kill it as a force, unless you have a weapon. Meanwhile, when you play, like, single player, like, Teehee, I kill it in, like, five Bardas or less. And you go to play multi-mode, like, wow, I can't even kill it in, like, 50. It's like, I don't know. It's a design choice, I guess. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I really hated it in Episode 2 in particular, but, you know. Whatever, I guess they gave us episode 4 as an apology. They're like, listen, we can't balance Megid, we can't balance Resist, just just beat everything in episode 4, it'll be fine. So anyway, chat, let's pause here for now. Let's talk about how things went today with PSL. Uh, tons of levels. We gave away text to Sean. We helped Clef with their characters, a little bit of their ultimate character, and jumped their level 74 character to 86, if I remember correctly. So lots of levels abound. Uh, we got Hell Cleave up a couple levels on their Ranger. Uh, we got Vieta ones for Diz, Centurion ability for Diz. I got a Centurion. Okay amount of PDs today. Nothing like insane. It's kind of like average-ish, but only really towards the end did we start getting average on it. 
it was kind of crazy how long we went we went we did like nine cookie runs and only got like maybe four pds maybe five it's kind of silly given how many of attempts and checks that is but it is what it is there so anyway chat that is my alarm that it is 10 o'clock i need to stop the stream so with that we're gonna say go ahead we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye to youtube so look forward to maybe one more valentine event session thing tomorrow i don't think there'll be one tuesday wednesday but for now chat thanks for spending time with me today on the bonus stream and with that if you enjoyed this hope to see you again in the next part youtube <laughs>